Well, ladies and gentlemen, back by an extraordinarily popular demand, you've got the A team of Antonia Samuel, the Grand Prix winner and the current uh, Irish Open six months sure. champion, and myself, Ali Ayub. Um, I've ran bad in every card room, in every casino, in every country, on every continent. And in that time, I've come to realise I'm far better and safer commentating. So we are going to take you through tonight's festivities, the uh, Friday night, just till dawn, high stakes uh, poker game. And uh, we have got a great assembly of characters here, Antonius. Yep. We've got Vinny, Action, Vinny, any Lately, we'll know this guy business. <laughs> but Jagger, obviously, he's addicted to action. I am very good I'm ready. Fireworks today. I'm ready. I'm Steve yeah. Warburton. I mean, come on, this guy's Ace resume speaks for itself. Ace the Ace guy <laughs> shot beat Barcelona, if I remember correctly, for like almost a million euros. You've got Carl Shaw. No one can play poker in the UK without after speaking about cards. Fortnite, cash game, you name it. Then you got Mitch. <laughs> Fortunate. <laughs> Mitch, obviously, long standing <laughs> member of the Poker Community Cash Games tournaments. Again, been killing the game from day one. Then everyone else bank rolls. Vinny, I'm lucky you didn't gamble that first time. Eight so bay here. Yeah. He's uh, first on the scene. Action, yeah. as always, loves the game. And then we've got uh, the, uh, yeah, some new faces like uh, Owo, who uh, the regular viewers recognise. Uh, he's on screen right now. Uh, I didn't do my pieces. Nah, you got it all back. I got it all back. I lost 13. Yeah, it was a win. Just getting uh, started now, so we are really looking forward very, to this very, game. Very and pieces, thank you for know, joining us. We are hoping for engagement um, <laughs> on the comments, <laughs> especially yeah. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And we can tell you that we have got a giveaway tonight. We are going to be giving away a £230 seat <laughs> that you can use for one of the WSOP <laughs> events here at the store. So we will be telling you more about that uh, promotion soon. But like Antonia said, We've got everything tonight. We've got charm, ability, action, personality, and at least a measure of sexual charisma. And that's just the commentary team. So um, good luck uh, to all the players, and, uh, and let's get involved in the action straight away now. Yep. But and the ants here. Oh, I did watch back. He did fold jacks. Huh? Uh, AJ looking to hit the call, the 9-8. I will play stand-up game when you're on the button. Straight away here, we've got a three-bet pot. Uh, one legitimate hand and one not so legitimate. But I think this is indicative of AJ's style. He will give action and he'll play any hand uh, from any position on the table. He's going away from this one straight away. But, and at 1k, AJ's made the call. This may kill a bit of the X. Yeah, that's not a very good uh, turn. Although it does give uh, Ant a push draw as well to go along with uh, his sort of middle pair. So I think he won't be slowing down. He was the three best. Sharp, yeah, again, <laughs> this, yeah. this card really smashes his range, and he's gone, uh, he's gone quite big here. <coughs> Quick relinquish here. Um, so yeah, Antonio is going back to the players again on this uh, Friday night poker at just till dawn. It's very interesting for me to actually be commentating on this game in particular because I think I've played with nearly everyone at this table. 
before. Um, so it'll be interesting for me to see sort of what they're doing from from the other side of the fence. Oh, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. no, I, it's my first time, so I get off. Oh, look, I think we might be having a stand up game here. 200 a man, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, a big three, game. I think the most difficult player uh, probably got yeah. to be uh, Carl, uh, and then I would say probably Jagger. That's not to say that they're all not. They've all got their own styles. Vinny's the kind of guy who can just put you under immense pressure. He'll play any hand from anywhere, and it's very hard to put him on the ring. I mean, play the stand-up game on a stream game. Mitch Shaw has picked the correct seat. Rounded up or rounded down? We had a good stand -up so, game for those of you who might not be initiated, yeah. the stand-up game think. is where um, everybody has to stand up to begin with, everybody plays their hands, and the last person uh, remaining standing, basically the last person to win a hand, has to pay a fee or a bounty to the rest of the table. Don't know what's been agreed, what amount, but it won't be cheap. So, um, the quicker you can win a hand here, the better. Thank you. Better for, you, for your wallet and for your legs. That's that right. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, take, while... Uh, take, take your pick. Who's going to be the last man standing? Oh, it's so difficult. I think uh, poker in general in this game hard. aggression pays. <laughs> yeah. Don't but really actually, not have too a bad winning, to win. actually. But, like, really? the trenches. <sighs> we love the trenches. There are also though. decent hands here, man. The, the, the Jack-8 suited, the King-9 suited, the Ace-8. Is that nine to see with Vinny? Yeah. Wow, we've got some uh, some we'll see proper a big, hands. Big pop, pre flop here. I realised when I called that you still had cards. I thought it's gone cool, cool. Oh. <laughs> no, that's normally, no. I'm playing properly today, mate. But this is very strange. Uh, yeah. I'm playing properly today. Yeah. Flat yeah, yeah, today. Down. yeah. <laughs> Five, I believe it is. Uh, and we, we could potentially see fireworks here uh, between AJ and Ant. And they've already got entangled in the first pot of the day, which uh, went to Ant. I believe usually in this game they'll do £200 a man okay. for the stand up game. So that's quite an expensive bill if you're the last man standing, if you calculate that. Oh, to begin the game, for sure. I can imagine Paul, unless he. You know, Decides to go mental won't be involved in the hand any longer. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see Vinny stick around with the nines and he is quite a sticky player. And indeed, I would have thought Vinny would have bought me a nine, but I don't know. See Vinny going all the way with him. I, I, um, I think correctly. I've seen you actually close and screw the flop. Depending on the action, which should be substantial on this turn, really, I, d I don't think he's going to hang around. And I've got AJ's bet, what, around 700. Uh, Bad name out there, bro. Vinny's <laughs> going nowhere, by the looks of it. Cutting the chips out. Wow, <laughs> this is why you've got to look at You don't feel very good when you've got the not plus draw on a board like that, do you? Get two and you've got a bet and a call. Yeah. That Smelling is... the rat here, isn't he, Ant? Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling today, Warps? Quite fresh. Quite fresh. You ready, then? I'm never ready. <laughs> I think I'm he's uh, going to give it the call. <laughs> I mean, you're not loving it, but... Thanks that compliment, anyway. Yeah, he's really uh, oh, giving this some thought, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He really, he's just really quite unusual. Yeah. 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 He he's makes the fine call. call in the end. You, you don't love it. I'll liven up a bit. I need a big hand to wake me up. Oh, oh what a oh, start. That's a what pure one, one, one out of the Vinny. Wow. Be wow. Wow. Oh yeah, my nice. god. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> You're one out of the Vinny there. Wow, wow, wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you are in store for tonight. This is going to be a crash bang wallop game and it's going to be pure entertainment. So, wow. For those of you joining us, we've just started and it's pure one outer. Wow. And I think AJ's led here now, hasn't he? Yeah. I mean, he's got to have thought that that was quite a safe river on that texture. Oh, 
No flush is complete, no straights there. He's only do, he's losing. I couldn't do you wrong then because of what I, I got done wrong. Full house. And I, and I don't oh, think wow. that knowing what AJ knows about Vinny, I don't think he can pass this at all. Yeah, that's going to be a difficult one. I can one. imagine him calling pretty quickly here. That's going to be a tough one. This is sick. This I mean, do you think he can get away from this against he's Vinny? He's got one of the worst aces to have on that board so you know he's losing i mean most of the time it is going to be a chop with another race that's not a house but i don't know like you said vinnie's rep on the yeah he's i mean against call. vinnie you have to make the call on he's going to feel sick oh the he's giving it the little jig dance the chirping dance oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You've got to love it. And that is a nearly £15,000 pot, ladies and gentlemen, within two minutes of the stream. Vinny is the first person to sit down. Wow. What a way to start the stand up game. One out on the river. What did you say? 15k pot? Yeah, 14.4k. Wow. Vinny, what are you calling down with there, lads? So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, while they're shipping this pot to Vinny, uh, we would like to thank you, me and Antonius, and everybody at Just Two for joining us on this stream. Um, it's going to be an amazing game, as you can see immediately, we've had uh, a 15k pot. And, uh, like I said, I want to reiterate that we will be doing a giveaway at some point where we'll be giving away a £230 seat. Me and Antonius had to fight tooth and nail to get you guys that, so... Um, We'll think of some uh, ingenious way of, uh, of giving that away, so please stay tuned. And uh, as you know, me and Ali are the two luckiest people, so if you win a seat from our competition, you will win the tournament. That's right. So make sure you try one that seat. And Antonius, we've got some serial winners on this table. So Huge. this is a high level, high action, high V pip cash game, which is a recipe for just a, an amazing night. Carnage. I love carnage on the table. Even if it's tournament table, cash game, carnage. But did you know that this upcoming event at Dust Till Dawn, the WSOP circuit, not many people knew this, but you know if you win an event, so you win a ring, a World Series poker ring, you automatically get entered into the Tournament of Champions in uh, Vegas. Yep, that's that right. is a one million guaranteed tournament free roll for anyone who wins a ring. That's right. So bear that in mind when you're on the final table of one of the 11... WSOP wow. ring events. Wow, wow, wow. It could be a ticket to Vegas for you people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. See, Vinny there looking like the cat that got all the cream. And already again, there's another all in. Uh, AJ's put his uh, remaining 1.8k in with a qualified hand here. Yeah, and I think he's been put well, by like Joe in a hand that he's Can't got completely locked up. AJ's uh, <laughs> having a bit of a tough time to begin with. Yeah, he's under it a bit. It's a bit of a Queen. rush start here, complete domination, Queen. and look at this flop hand. Wow. Queen. Well, I mean, oh, he's got. Oh, oh, I was just about to say he's got all the rounds. And I'm totally spoiling it. Dead off there, ladies and gentlemen. From very little equity to win the pot, and again. 3.6k going over to uh, to AJ. And oh, you what's can happened see to this Carl game? is loving the carnage. Loving it. That's uh, unlucky for Joe there. Wow. You flop three aces. Well, if you speak to uh, AJ, he'd say the same thing. I flopped three aces and uh, got rivered. Instant, instant reversal of karma there. Wow. And I just feel sorry, Am, for the people who are going to join this stream late. Later, maybe. They missed out on a few. Sick hands already. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Friday night, but just two wow, What a what game. A what a game. We started <laughs> off the street with a pure one outer. Yeah. And a fifth. Wow. We need to take six well, me, that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so AJ from losing the pot is now uh, the next person to sit down. Unlucky, Jay. 
What can you do, eh? Our stand-up <laughs> game really creates... I mean, I don't even know. If the stand-up game wasn't happening, I think the same action would have happened just those on those hands, hands as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 200. Oh. 750. 750. Yes, I'm going to find them. No worries, Shag. Alright, mate, see you tomorrow. Bye, bye, bye. bye, bye. I don't like that. He's a danger, man. I like his split personalities, though. You know that free flop? Hey, how you doing, lads? In the flops. <laughs> yeah, he's confirmed that Vinny is still stacking up those chips. So, he's enjoying himself. Apologies, people. I said the tournament of champion was in Vegas. It was in Vegas last year, unconfirmed for this year, so... But the principle remains the same, man, which is that if you win one of those events here at Dust Till Dawn and get the ring, you will, down the line, also be entered into a huge free roll. Um, some people that we know went to Vegas last year from here, didn't mm -hmm. they, Anne? Um, Jack O'Neill Jack O'Neill, Leo Worthington, yep. Candice. That's right. All from ring events they've won at Dust Till Dawn. Oh, we've got a three bit with the threes. Oh, oh. I can confirm Have that. Have you Carl. noticed everyone who's getting the big hands is the one who's lost the all in the previous hand? Yeah. Joe's the one who lost to AJ. Is he going to get some kind of. Uh, is he going to get looked up here, do you think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't think Carl's going anywhere with a hand like that. Carl Shaw, one of the most active and aggressive cash game players there is. And he hasn't um, done what he's done in the game by folding ace nine suited. So I think he'll definitely be involved in this uh, pot as long as it doesn't go too mental pre flop. Oh, he's given him the spin. Yeah, it calls never you called it. You called yeah. it. Domination again here. Joe is actually one of the people that I haven't played with and I don't recognise. So I'm looking forward to seeing what his style is. He's got it in really good here. Yeah, so you, um, you'd think he might have been tilting from the last time, but you never know. He might have just... yeah. King in the window, and that is uh, that will be the end of the ace. Curtains nine. for for Carl. Ten bag. No. It instantly announces yeah. ten bag. <laughs> Carl has just instantly reloaded for ten k. Ten twenty-five. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Carl's not here to mess around. He means business. If you could add more people into this already carnage of a game that you can think of as not playing it, who would you add? Who would you throw into the mix here? I think it's already such a final. I mean, you've got some really good players, uh, and then you've got Mitch. So I think the lineup is already really good. But I Mitch is getting tired standing up. Yeah. Could you not think of anyone? Maybe Rob. Oh. I think Rob would sort Ooh. all these lot out. Yeah. You know, like, um, yeah, maybe Rob. If I, I could throw, Rob yeah, that's, it, that's a good Rob. shout, but I'd throw Boz in there. Oh, yeah, Boz. Boz is this a This is uh, right up his street, this type of game. Yeah. He would love it. He'd get in the mix. Yep. Maybe in the future he can uh, jump down. I think Boz is one of those players like Carl as well, who's achieved something very difficult in the game, which is to be proficient at cash and hold, uh, and tournament. Yeah. Because people we, don't realise it's a and really the, different game. And online, you know. Yeah, online. Good point, I, mean. I mean, Mitch, you have to give Mitch his dues. He's also very proficient at tournament poker and cash. But I do see that a lot where people sort of, don't get a grasp of how oh. different both of the disciplines are. Vin Vinny could uh, take this down with a check raise, but there's been no check raise here. A jack of diamonds would be an interesting card. Oh, here we go. This could be uh, of the hand. Very hard to uh, fall off with eights there. Possible thing. The worst run out for me. Yeah, as you can see, mid the fold and uh, Joe's mid the fold. <laughs> Yeah, I think we've been and there. Vinny's yeah. shown the pie. He loves it. Vinny loves it. 
Yeah, off to a great start, and, and I think that could be really good for the game. Vinny can go on a mad front where he can just clear the table. We know it's early days, but Jack is just getting warmed up. Yeah, he's just getting warmed up. He'll be wanting to get involved straight away. He was on the gin and tonic. If you had to pick who's going to be the last man standing from what you can see now, who, who, who would you put money on? I think Mitch is going to be the last man standing. He's too lucky. Yeah. We we, I think the distribution's yeah. just been between the three players sat down. Yeah. While um, we're going to see Warbs getting. I mean, uh, yeah, you're getting like three that. deuce off. <laughs> happy enough. I mean, whilst they're dealing the hand, I will just let everybody know that there is currently a DTD 100 taking place as we speak. Uh, you can still play uh, a day one tomorrow. It's a £100,000 guaranteed tournament uh, for 120 quid. So excellent value. So if anybody's uh, free at the weekend, come down and uh, participate. Um, a great tournament, great price point, and a great guarantee as well. So uh, I Dust don't do mess that. around, do they? Nothing's guaranteed below 100k these days with Dust still done. Plenty of money to be won here, people. Oh, and we've, what, when does uh, got the, the WSOP circuit is the next event after this DTD oh. one so mm. looking forward to see all the faces here at Dustal Dawn for that event 1.1k main event buy-in charging for that flush draw and uh, you can even when you see it on GG if you don't feel like playing a live satellite that's right so uh Make sure you uh, give it a try online. If not, come down and play the satellites at the club. Shit. Paul applying a little bit of pressure here. Um, and I'm surprising to see AJ get involved here, seeing as though he's already qualified for the uh, st uh, stand up game. With the King 6 off. I mean, obviously, he's flopped a piece of it. Carl is eyeing AJ's stack up to slide button. that one. Yeah, Carl gets yeah, the show, shit. Showing it instantly showing as well it. to spice up the game. Do you have a turn? I actually just played with um, AJ uh, a long time ago. And uh, I know he's a very, very good player. And he's also very good for the game. So we've got a fantastic mix of characters here. Right? You got to hand it to the Birmingham boys. They are really taking poker <laughs> to the next level for the UK. I don't mean just in cash games. I don't mean tournaments. Every person you can see who kills it in, as of lately in the UK is a, is a Birmingham person. Our friend, considering uh, moving. Yep, our friend uh, Mr. Kuli Sidhu had a fantastic result recently. Yep, wait till, till the very end of the festival in uh, Paris to uh, think himself a lovely 130k win. Got Doddy, yep. Owen Dodd, came fourth in the main event. Something about the water in Birmingham, I'm telling you. We might have to move. I'm considering it. Um, some of you might have noticed that there is a bell on the table. If you have a look now in front of Paul Shaw, that is the bluff bell. So basically, that's just so that the person who gets a bluff can chirp and let the whole club know that they've just got one through. So if you hear that ringing around, then that's what it is. It's the bluff bell. We've got the solver hand here for Ant. Ace-5 suited. Something quite beautiful about that hand. It's uh, definitely been played a lot in recent years. Warb's not really getting a lot of hands to get involved here with. Mitch is trying to take this down. Three flop by three betting the ace ten off. I, don't think, I think Chan will be getting away from this. Absolutely. I think Mitch being the aggressor potentially check. might take this down. No. Mm, Mitch has chosen to check that. Oh, the only way Ant can win this pot is by betting. I think so, Mitch is definitely going to take the lead on this turn. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't bet at least four or five. Here. 
Mitch he's checked it so back. Checked. Oh, it's a chop. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. I said the only way he can win the pot is by bet. And now, uh, it has Ant led for 1k here? Yeah. Wow. I would actually love to see Mitch find this here. Uh, checked all the way down. Yeah, he's cold. Nice. Oh, is he cool? Oh, yeah. Nice. He's cool. Bravo, yeah. Mitch. Oh, oh, look how happy he's up to himself. What does that mean with the stand-up game? They both still stand up? I think so, yeah. But that, I mean, that, that has to go down as a good call from Mitch there. Yeah. yeah. Push draws missed. Straight draws missed. Nice hand, boys. Check all the way to the river. Should have called you. I could have bluffed you both off it. Where? And he pairs below sixes, big count a bit. Yep. <laughs> wow. It's just that in you here, mean, but it's actually not a call to that the yeah, way Dan has played. Yeah. Rachel says, can you give them cowbell or some maracas <laughs> instead of a bell to spice it? That's a good idea. Well, we don't know about maracas, but there'll be plenty of people doing their coconuts tonight. We can tell you that. <laughs> so, um... Thank you, thank you very much, Rachel Thorpe, for joining us. I know you joined Net us on the last scene. Th here, here's the proof. We've got Nathan here who said Mitch will find this. Yeah. Mm. Do we mean he'll find it as in I think not he meant, lose the stand-up game or no, find the call? I think he meant find the call. So that was a great read from Nathan. But like I said, we really appreciate you guys. Um, love to hear your comments. And like I said, we do have a giveaway this evening. Uh, me and Antonius will think of some way to to do that and uh, we look forward to giving a 230 pound seat away to somebody joining us on youtube tonight so um, please feel free to send your comments and your questions through uh, we'll be here all the way uh, till about 12 o'clock when the stream finishes and i'm sure there's going to be many many ups and downs and big ups and big pots uh before that time rachel i'm gonna go on amazon and try to find a cowbell so try and make that happen for the next game no set here for Joe. Uh, checks that through. Jagger making top for here. We haven't seen much of Jagger here. But he's checked it, uh, Antonius here. Check. Told you what. Jagger's oh just getting warmed up. Checks. Yep. Checks. Checks. AJ takes the lead. 400. He does have a redraw to a club push draw as well, so it really is a brilliant card for him on the turn that. Yeah. Cool. And also making the ace here, um, which is it should be really, really good for AJ. I mean, I can imagine if we see like a deuce of diamonds on the uh, Dragon's on the river. not going away. Only Joe holds the deuces. Watch it. Mm. Ah. Bit of an action killer. Check. Jagger with Check. eight high ups. And I uh, can't see AJ checking this. I we'll think he'll be out. weary Ant, of that. I think he mm. might be weary of that, yeah. But he is going for, for thin value here. Yeah. I think with Jagger calling behind, uh, it would have made it more Close. likely that somebody was calling with a push draw. Maybe a hand like King oh. 10 with a King of Clubs. AJ, baby. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did he get called? I think he a caller. Yep, well that's got to go down as an excellent value bet there, Ant from yeah. AJ. Value bet in the Jack High push there on the river. And uh, since that first hand... First, the, the pure one-outer hand. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, if you're tuning in now, people, one of the first hands of the night, pure one-outer on the river. So, uh, as expected, this game is calm. Good luck. Don't need luck, bro. Still got four people standing, Ali. Yeah? Well, See, which is uh, getting yeah. tired. I don't think leaning on the table should be allowed. What do you think? Well, uh, what I think is that if the stand-up game lasts any longer, uh, we might have to get Mitch's Zimmer frame. <laughs> you kept it nice and cheap for me, which I really appreciate. I want the money tonight as well. For those listening, we do love Mitch. We do love him. There, He's already starting to look a bit unsteady, <laughs> Anton. <laughs> I've told you. That shadow was it, yeah? We've got a. Ooh, A7 suited for Joe. Yes, Very playable, uh, and there go. The hijack. Vinny ain't going nowhere with A6, is he? Nope. Don't you worry about it. Oh! One for the good guys. Warbs. Come on. Pocket fours. Wow, there's a lot of faces out there. <laughs> 
Wow, and the King 10 for Jagger. Jagger's got a squeeze here. Yep. Yep. As advertised, we know how oh, Jagger plays. Oh, he's not plays. messing around. He's just squeezed it. And and I, I will say, ladies and gentlemen. I told you he was just getting warmed up. Yeah, this is definitely um, a byproduct of the standing game. He knows that the way that the action's gone, for him to find any resistance to this shot, it's not like uh, And he takes the pot down there. And also, oh, the he's cool. Oh, he's, he's wow. not having it. Wow, Jagger is in bad shape. Wow, AJ has put 5k in with the King Queen off. Jagger is in Jagger bad is in shape. There is absolutely. Oh, I mean, 95% of the time, Jagger's getting that shove through isn't he absolutely and king 10 suited he's usually <coughs> getting that through wow i mean i think it's a really good hand for jagger to to to, to move all in with but aj has played with jagger a lot before and he probably knows that he is capable of shoving with, with less wow jagger did be looking yeah even more on aj letting jagger know that he's crushed i don't know You've got to be confident in this game to be wow. chirping through. Oh, wow. wow. There is hope on the horizon for Jagger. A hot AJ's leader. gone quiet. No. It's a quick one out from Steve. Jagger. Even, uh, even on the turn? Yep. Wow. There's a big fist going around here. He's feeling very tough with himself there. And the dealer gets a fist pump as well. Everyone getting fist pumped. Wow. Still, Jagger. Still standing. The action is coming thick and fast, ladies and gentlemen, on this Friday night. Like I said, you're joined by myself, Ali Ayub, aka Mozart, yes, and Antonius, the Grand Prix champion yeah. at Just Till Dawn, Grand just a few years ago. And we are really a few years ago. It's more like ten years ago. I'm like one of them singers who came out with one song, and that's it. Nothing else since. But honestly, I'm. I knew this game was going to be crazy, but it's. I don't think anyone can uh, switch over from this madness. I'm just looking at the chat here, Nathan Triple Eight. Uh, hopefully, me and Antonius will be going to Vegas again uh, this year. We did go last year. Um, it was my first time actually. Had a fantastic time. Um, so yeah. That's um, because he spent most yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. We will. Go to the country. We've he? still got four Jagger, people right? standing up, Ali. Got Forbes and Jagger and Mitch. I mean, I must say, the sadist in me really does want Mitch to lose this. I just want to see that close-up of his face when he's shipping the 200s out to everyone else. In other words, Nathan, one hit wonder. What a life though you had there, two fucking hearts on the front, and, and then he turned the gut shot hand. And I would suggest, uh, Antonius, that he really needs to win this with this with this hand. Yeah, he's not messing around. He's shipped. He's just moved in. Oh, Warbs has kings. Oh, my goodness me. Warbs has kings. Ladies wow. and gentlemen, we are going to have another nearly £10,000 pot here. Vinny's uh, thinking of getting involved here with the 6 2 suited. But he thinks better of it. And Ant's not going to believe it when Warbs turns over kings. Just an ace, one time. Yeah. One time with the ace. I'll pass the ace, deuce off. How many? Just once? Well, there's a lot of fist pumping going on, Ant. There, there is, oh, with such an amount of money on the time. table. It's, yeah. uh... Queen, we'll split. Queen. No, 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 no split there. Queen for you, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 he is going to win this, uh... Oh. oh. Ace or queen. Now the outs have increased. Needed. So he needs a queen or, or an queen. ace. Nice hand, nice hand. Seven diamonds. Brick ball. Watch it. Oh, just a full house. The case king. That's a lovely double up for Warbs, and he gets to rest his legs. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's uh, unfortunate to run into that one for Ann. I think you're seeing, ladies and gentlemen, why the stand-up game is so popular. I mean, it really does encourage a lot of action. People are doing a lot more... Uh, pre-flop uh, and they tend to do this game at the beginning because obviously some people get stuck and then they're chasing throughout the duration of the game 
And Antonius, it just makes for a more action-packed game, doesn't it? Put it this way, no matter what you're losing in this game, you can never sit there and think, I won't be able to get it back on this table. This is a table that's just going to be full of swings. Yeah, Nathan, I can see that as well, mate. We're going to see a 50k stack in no time. People are just getting warmed up as well. I'll tell you what, that could be a good idea for the competition. What we should do is have a deadline and get people to guess what they think the biggest pot is going to be of the night and then we'll give it to whoever gets closer. Ooh, yes. Let us know in the comments if that's something that you guys would enjoy. But I think that could be a good idea because like Nathan Triple Eight has said, we could easily see a 50k stack or a 40, 50,000 pound pot here on Friday night poker at Dust Till Dawn. Very easy. Question is, who's going to get there first? Yeah, well, we'll be here when they do. And uh, loading up for 50k doesn't count either. <laughs> nice double up for Mr. Steve Warburton over here. Man, Warbs has some absolute cracking results. I'm hoping, you know. Fantastic. He's had an amazing career. Yeah. His Hendon mob is just shy, just under two and a half million in caches. Yeah, it's incredible. And again, um, the quality and of the lineup that we've got today. I mean, the, the stat that you've just given us, it's just indicative of the players around the table. You've got many players around the table who are in the multi-millions on Hendon mob. Yeah. And that doesn't happen by accident. You know, no, these guys it's consistency. Are top it's full on consistency. And Steve's been in the game. For a while he's been very consistent and we've got ant here with the, the jack 10 jack 10 off uh, all in for 690. he's put his last uh fish oh and chip this is in. where we could see mitch yeah got him crushed and dominated but jagger's not going nowhere he's elected to call and jagger's money went in quicker than mitch's with the seven eight suited and this hand is exactly the kind of hand oh, that jagger likes to play it, yeah yeah i mean the action's happening so quick. Yeah. Carl's just threw it in with the ace 10 suited. I love the way he just put 11.1k uh, in there and gave a wink and a smile as well. Just slid it in there, didn't he? I think this is going to be an easy fold for everybody else now, and, and um, Carl It's just going to go heads up between yeah. Ant and uh, Carl. He'll be a significant and favorite. Ant's in bad shape against Carl. Oh, feel bad for Jagger. That 7 8 of hearts is such a lovely hand to play as well. Carl loves a good squeeze in these situations. And you know what? He's got a perfect hand to do it. Eddie Shez, thank you very much for your comment. We note that he's taken 42.2k as the biggest pot of the night. That would be an extraordinary thing to behold. So, shall we, shall we settle on that then? Yeah. You decide. Right, Mr. Ali Ayub. Yep, Mozart has called it. So now, ladies and gentlemen, the £230 seat will be given to the person who gets closest to the biggest pot of the night. So get your guesses coming in. Oh, and Ant's drilled the jack for his uh, remaining 680 quid. Yeah. And a bad beat there for Carl, but he won't be too bothered about that. He gets to sit down. Oh wow, so we've got Jagger and Mitch who are the last two remaining standing up. I did and say Mitch, maybe this is the only flip I'll win in my career. Maybe, maybe. I guess here's coming from Nathan, 23.8k. We will um, take a look through these uh, uh, guesses. We're going to do the cutoff point at 11 o'clock. So the 11 o'clock is the cutoff point for anybody uh, wanting to be in with a chance of look. Uh, oh Keep watching. By 11 o'clock, we might get pots bigger than that. You never know. Yeah. This, uh, this... I mean, if this is them getting warmed up, I wouldn't like to know how it's going to be later. Um, if you could uh, put your guesses in with your Twitter handle, because that's the way we're going to contact you if yeah, you do win the seat. So um, the first two that have come in, I'll keep them in mind. But anybody else putting a guess in now to win the £230 uh, WSOP circuit event seat here at Just Till Dawn, please put your Twitter, Twitter handle in the chat with your guess. And we really look forward to, to making Thanks somebody Thanks for the idea, Nathan. Sweet. Sweet. Bangs uh, this is bad for Mitch. 
Mitch knows there could be a big bill coming here. Yeah. Was well, it 200 a man, did we say? I mean, we live in hope. <laughs> 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 what would you do now if you was Mitch and Jagger? Would you just like split the bill? No, you've got to go for the kill. You've got to go for the kill. Sometimes it's about just getting tired. Nathan said he wants mine and your prediction on the pot. Oh, so. It could be anything, couldn't it, Ant? It's just, you know, like these players just have no problem reloading, reloading, reloading. So, and it's a big game, man. At yeah. 10, 25, 50 is a big game. Uh, I'm gonna be. I want to say conservative, but I don't know what conservative conservative is in this game. So, mm, I would, if I was to take a punt, I'd say over 30k. These boys are just getting warmed up, aren't they, Ali? Mm. Yeah. Vinny's just waiting. Carl's just waiting. So I imagine you're going to see some uh, much bigger pots later on. Why did I fold four six here, man? Should have just limped, right? And called any three better and then just hit the nuts. <laughs> Nothing much happened in that hand, and um, it was just a case of checking all the way down to the river. Come on, people. Who do you think is going to be the last man standing? Who's going to pay the bill in this uh, stand up game? Is it going to be Jagger or is it going to be Mitch? They're both looking a bit sheepish at the moment. I think it's only right that we kick Friday night poker off the train at all our bill. One can only hope. Three man's right, Michelle. Just don't want to promote the generosity. Warp's just decided to. We, we, we need to uh, put these uh, guesses down the competition. Yes, we've thank you very much for, the, um, for putting your guessing and putting your Twitter handle in as well. Please, Jagger, uh, Jags. Yeah, we've got some. Vinny, you don't have to protect Mitch, by the way. I'm a nicer guy than Mitch. <laughs> oh, wow. If you want anybody protected, you want Vinny or Carl, do you? Eyes transfixed. Vinny's reputation in the game is just going to no, 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 no. pay him off right now. What do we have here? I think, I think An all just gone raise all in call. Wow. Jagger really wow. making a stand here and drawing a line in the sand against Vinny. Vinny. And I think you're right. And this is where Vinny's reputation gets him paid. Deuce is coming down. Um, this is... Uh, Jagger needs oh, oh he's he's got some equity. Deuce, 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 deuce or a four for Jagger. Deuce four or three. No help on the turn. Oh, up there with the nine, off suit nine. It's the only way on, is it, isn't it? And Ooh, Vinny again. Vinny what a great scoops. start. And uh, Jagger to the reload. Jagger again. going into that bag again. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So getting costly just enough, to sit I'm, down. I make it big enough so I'm not folding. It's getting expensive now for uh, Jagger. You won't be Vinny one. is getting paid so far, people. We've already seen a one-outer from uh, Vinny you. against AJ. And now he's just felted uh, Jagger, who's Jagger reloaded instantly. Vinny, Vinny building the yeah, Great Wall of China there in front of him. Lovely towers. No game neither, and he got his Yeah, into you. Yeah, I might need some uh, chips again. <laughs> <laughs> well, stop using all these chips down there, I might need them a bit. They're gone, they're gone. It's a good job this game's capped, isn't it? Let's <laughs> say euros at the desk. I've got, I've got uh, Matt, thank you very much for your comment. Uh, the cutoff is 11 p.m. So um, obviously uh, you've got a chance of, of getting a good guess in there. Obviously, I don't need to reiterate um, to an audience as knowledgeable as you that you're only allowed one guess. And please put your Twitter handle uh, alongside your guess if possible, because that's the way we're going to be contacting the potential winner. Yep. Comment here. 
running hellfire you are right one of those tables you could use some bullets if you're unlucky but imagine if you're running good on this table you'd be uh, smiling all the way to the bank with a wheelbarrow full I think Jagger's just reloaded for 10k, Antonius, and he's yep. picked up another play very playable hand here in the cutoff. Ooh. It's going to be very interesting, this hand. He's, uh... Mitch is open, Mitch is open with yeah. the king eight off. He's completely the locked hijack. up. There's too much pain. Uh, he's, yep. He's Three bet from Jagger. <laughs> Oh, is Vinny thinking about it with the king? No, I think he's going to fold. He doesn't like folding, does he, Vinny? That's why we love him. Yeah. I remember he called a huge three-way all-in on a stream game here at Dust Till Dawn between me and Jagger with 9-7 off. And uh, no doubt the astute viewers amongst you will know that he, um, he beat me in that hand uh, being 3% on the flop. Yeah, you was waiting a while to get that one in, weren't you? Well, I've got at least tried. Go on then, boys. You must Good have been luck. waiting to drop that Good one in job. since you knew Vinny was coming on stream. Oh, wow. Mitch so, um, has outflopped Jagger. Jagger this made could a... be uh, yeah, like the end of the stand-up for now. Said, yeah, Jagger made a small three bet, which Mitch called. Uh, and now it's just gone check-check on this flop. There's nothing really there for anybody on that flop. And it's the battle of the two that remain. So, and we must have a winner yep. in this hand. Yep. Ah, oh, Jagger feels sick. Yeah. I don't think Jagger's going to continue. That's the end of it. And yeah. that's the end. Mitch shows the bluff. Well, and... it's not really a bluff, is it? He's got top hair. Oh, sorry. It. I beg your pardon. Yeah. And uh, Jagger now has to uh, distribute funds around the table. Uh, ay yeah. Ay yeah. Well, unlucky viewers. I know many of you were hoping Mitch paid the bill, but... <laughs> Well, I can As tell Mitch you, does, uh, he got out of it. I can tell you comprehensively that the, the, the rest of my night is ruined. <laughs> um, Mitch, again, the story of his life, narrowly avoiding disaster and coming out smelling the roses. Um, very upsetting. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the game begins in earnest. The stand-up game is done. The carnage uh, has begun. Many, many people Shot are in the hole now, Shot. fortunately including Jagger, and now the game will begin. Yep. No one's in a rush to sit down now. But, uh, I mean, it's already been carnage as it is, but I'm very excited to see where we go from here now. Mitch is smiling, he didn't have to fork out that bill. You can relax. I'm quite intrigued to see how Joe plays amongst all these absolute sharks we've got here. Mm. Vinny, just no mercy. And he's, uh, he's got off to a winning start, which will be very, very good for the game because he'll play with a little bit more ease now. Um, and he's flopped top pair. 9-6 off. Nothing really working for anybody else here on this flop hunt. Have you seen on the, I believe it's uh, this Sunday at 2 p.m. for Still Dawn are doing a 10 package guaranteed for the Irish Open. Yeah. So it includes your main event buy-in and £500 for expenses. Incredible value. I've got to be playing that. Yeah, I'll definitely be playing that. And the Irish Open, for those of you who haven't had the chance to go, a brilliant, brilliant festival. So you can win your seats here at your local club of Dust Till Dawn. And your expenses. So yeah. make sure you're down for that. I mean, yeah. last year was my first Irish Open. I can't believe it took me so long to go to the Irish Open. But yeah, what an experience. Yeah, and that's this Sunday at 2 p.m. Ten um, packages. I can see in the chat here people are saying we may as well guess at 10.55. You're more than happy to do that, but we're working on the premise that this game is going to get so big 
that towards the end of the game is probably where the biggest pot's going to be. So I'm not sure if that's really going to present anybody with an advantage. Um, but like I said, we're just looking forward to giving that seat away to somebody. Uh, and we thank you for joining us and putting your comments in. Ace King for Mitch. Now that the dust, the dust has settled from the stand-up game, we're gonna play some proper cash game poker now. Yeah. Carl's reloaded, hasn't he? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So Mitch opening under the gun here with an extremely playable hand. And we're going to see if he's going to encounter any resistance. Vinny won't be going anywhere here. No. And uh, AJ makes the call with the Ooh, green six suit. Warps well. the ace jack off. Cool. Yep. Some flat here from Warps. It's pretty standard. Oh, we've got some uh, interesting hands here. Suited oh. queen, ace king off. Five ways to the flop. And got Ant, who's flopped the best. Yep. Like Nothing really works. AJ here. with a backdoor flush draw. One of the... Ooh. Oh, he's not messing around. Yeah, I think he's it's just in. over just over half pot, isn't it? He's all in. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Vinny, uh, Vinny might put him on a flush draw. And I think that's what he's just said, Ant. He said to him, are you flushing? Has, has Vinny made the call with threes? Huh? Wow. Wow, oh, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, not another. Watch it. Wow, wow. Vinny's made the and, call and with and threes. A, and a, a, a much needed shot in the arm for Ant there, doubling back up and now with a stack of 6.6k. I'll tell you what, it's hard work for the dealer today. He's going to be counting some big pots out. <laughs> That's right. I think Vinny there just going with his instinct and he did say, uh, are you on a flush draw? And I think he convinced himself that he I mean, was. Even if he is on a flush draw, like statistically, do you really want to beat your opponent to turn over a flush draw on two overs to your Absolutely. threes? Absolutely, yeah. But again, I want to reiterate, ladies and gentlemen, these gentlemen at this game are not backwards about coming forwards. We are going to see some hero calls, some huge bluffs, some mega yeah, pots. Yeah, no one, no, no one on this table wants to be getting bluffed, do they? That's right. No one. No one wants to hear that bell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no one wants to get bluffed on stream. That's why the stream game, change, I think, changes the dynamics completely. It's actually making me want to play him. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, the regular viewers will have know you got, that. Have you got your shiny shirt in the car? <laughs> yes. No, not in the car, but I mean, the regular viewers will know that I've played these streams myself and I haven't played one for a while, but watching this game, it's such a pure form of the game. People are not, you know, afraid to put chips in the pot. They've got character, they've got personality, and uh, this is the kind of poker that we like watching and that we like playing. And yeah, definitely. I just want to give a shout out to my friend Jonathan McCann, who's currently driving to France. And uh, uh, he's well aware that we are covering this game. Uh, just want to say safe journey, bud. And um, we'll see you soon back on the felt. The, the man of 2023, and John McCann. Oh, he certainly was. Certainly was. Every, every week, there'd be a photo of John McCann. I want to say on a final, but it was just a win, wasn't it? Just win. Now it's good. Who knows? We might see everyone for the upcoming event for the WSOP. Well, I know I'm going to be here. You're going to be here, aren't you? Of course, absolutely. Uh, then they'll be looking to get half a million, to be honest with you. Estimated, estimated a million, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sell that grow over now. <laughs> estimated a million. <laughs> Imagine having a tournament and then just you can just estimate anything you want. Yeah. Nice to see that Jagger's still in good spirits. Uh, it's not really gone his way so far. I've never seen Jagger not smiling, win, lose, or draw. He's always smiling. I'll take it. 
you, you could be speaking to Jagger and he'll be smiling and he could have just lost 30k or won 30k. It's always the same. Yeah. can see Joe's in here with a monster, the 10 3 off, and flopped an, <laughs> an open ender with Vinny also qualifying. If Vinny makes two pair here, and. Watch it. Oh, oh and wow, we called wow, it wow, dead, wow. and that's why they call me Mozart, ladies and gentlemen. We can see into the future here. I'm surprised Vinny didn't fill up on the river. What's going to happen here? Joe's gone quite big, and I cannot see Vinny folding this in any universe. Mm. Pretty sick one out for he's, Vinny. He's going to cycle, I think. Yeah, he can't. He can't. Again, Vinny's... Uh... There you go, the chips. Yeah. Never to be seen again. And Goodbye. the flamboyant show there with a the flick of the wrist the from tentry. Joe. Look, 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 the smile. He loves it. Yep, it's the first pot we've seen him really get involved in with the mighty 10-3 off. Thank you Appreciate it. <laughs> this money is going to be... Well, it already has been, but it's just flying around the table. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was on the I hope to see <laughs> Mitch get involved <laughs> eventually. I mean, our heads are slightly spinning, and we don't realise how early into the stream this is. It's yeah. just gone absolutely mental, which is all obviously brilliant well, for those of us watching. You know, watching. they say it start as you mean to go on. Absolutely. We started with a pure one outer on the river, all in. And uh, on the whiskey, it's just yeah? been nothing but action right. ever since. Yeah, you can't say no to your brother. Though. This so, is a great shot, and I love this no aerial to... shot. You love the aerial shot. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I mean, what a brilliant <laughs> setup they've got here at Just Till Dawn, and like you, you can't go to any casino in Nottingham yeah. or anywhere in England and see a live stream setup yeah. like this. It's oh, incredible. by far they've got the best uh, streaming setup in England by far. And we have to uh, doff our caps to Derek, who is the IT genius who works here. Derek is an absolute wizard. Derek and the team. Yeah, the team. Derek and Derek's team, without whom none of this is really possible. Uh, they do all the cameras, all the card reading, all the graphics. I think the ladies and gentlemen that are viewing probably don't realise how much work goes into putting on a stream like this, just on the technical side. I yeah, definitely. So we do appreciate them. What's... Uh... What's your prediction? Surely you've got some form of guess who the biggest winner of the night's going to be. It's really hard. I mean, when Vinny is on a tear up like he is, it could easily be Vinny. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I mean, that's not me being boring um, and just going for the person who's winning the most at the minute. But I've played with Vinny a lot and he's just moved all in here. And this is exactly what I was talking about. And he's wow. put much at Mitch in. Has Mitch insta folded? Yep. Wow. And he's just heard the bell ring. Yep. He's yeah. heard the bell and, ring. And Mitch, and no, Mitch knew what was coming now. once he heard that sound. As if by magic, <laughs> Vinny just moves all in on a complete bluff and gets Mitch to fold. And there you can see on the graphics that Vinny is top of the tree, as they say, it's certainly chips wise. Yep. <laughs> Well, we do have some incredible characters on this table. Yeah, I, I mean, it's so weird back seeing back my back name, back Ant, on the screen there saying minus 405. I've always got a minus next to my name, haven't I? Yeah, I mean, you should be quite thankful because it's usually a lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, we've got some characters on this table. Everyone we've known for quite some years in this poker world. Yeah. It's not. It's not an easy thing to be in the poker world for such a long amount of time. Oh, no, Absolutely. I tell you what I am looking forward to as well, Ant. Because of the way that the seating draw has been done, the big blind, small blind confrontation between Jagger and uh, Carl Shaw. Oh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to some, some juicy pops. I can't, in that, I can't in that situation. ever see it. And get Mitch into on the that. button as well in that situation. I can't ever see it get into that with Vinny's position where he's. Uh, like you said, he doesn't like folding. I mean, he's got a queen eye flush draw here and a gutter. Mitch, Nine has, ball. Fopped a, Mitch has fopped a really good hand here as well, Antonius, with the, the gut shot, the two overs, and the king this eye flush could draw. Be a... So I can imagine, Antonius, that if Vinny makes a queen eye flush, he's going to call almost any amount. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so, uh, but even the straight draws are. Really. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And AJ might not relinquish here with a good shot, but I think he realises that some of his outs are dirty. Well, Vinny is in 
bad shape here. Oh, safe. Run out might save him. I think Mitch might still go ahead and bet this. He decided to check. I thought on such a draw heavy. Wow, ball, he Vinny might... gets away unless he decides to get fruity. I think Mitch yeah. is going to check. Yeah, I think Mitch knows that against Vinny, he knows the king high can be good. No, I think he just knows he's getting called off by Vinny. Even if Vinny's got a two or a six or a jack, anything. Vinny's one of those who's unbluffable. Yeah, he's definitely uh, capable of a hero call. Yeah, thank you for your comment, John. This is an incredible game. Uh, John, smile. It is an absolute amazing game. We hope that you can stick with us for the duration. We do also have a competition going on. Uh, if you can guess closest to the biggest pot of the night, we will be giving a £230 seat away that you can redeem here at Dust Till Dawn. And uh, once again, me and Antonius want to thank you guys for being with us. And we hope you're enjoying it because... I watch a lot of poker streams, especially in the in the UK, and um, it's almost like a visual form of chloroform. It puts me to sleep instantly. But this game, this is this is something uh, something really really good to watch and really interesting. Almost most hands have had an all in. Yeah. Oh, we've got uh, Carl coming into the mix now. King Queen off for Carl, makes it 400. Joe Leave has called with the ace jack. Vinny's never folding the 4 5 off. What do you think the strategy is here from Joe? Like just flat calling an open from the button from a from an aggressive player like John? Do you think he's, he's trying to sort flat, of under flatting, represent? No, I think he's flattened from the small blind. He's playing out of position to Carl. So, yeah, I mean, you don't want to be three betting Carl out of position. Joe's going to know how <laughs> aggressive Carl is. I think Joe's also going to know that he's going to have Carl dominated a lot here as well mm. for a post flop. Um, so if it does come an ace high board, then I think Joe's um, knows that he's going to be in good shape there with the ace jack against Carl. Uh, <coughs> got the call from Carl. So deciding to lead here with the gutter. And instantly, instantly uh, 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 gratified, as they I, say. I, I've just realised what I've been doing wrong at poker. I, I don't, I don't get there. Now this is going to be extremely uncomfortable for Carl because if yep. I was, um, I'd be betting over pot here and completely polarising my range here. Uh, I'd be betting 3.3k on the river here, and if I was Joe, uh, I'm uh, putting Carl in a difficult spot. I think Carl might sniff it out because it did go. Yeah check check on the flop and he's led out on the queen turn you know he, he does have top he's two he's gone a but... little bit smaller than what I said I think he's gone pot I think he's gone 2600 instant call from Carly and I think he's missed a trick yeah. there and I think he's missed at least a thousand pounds worth of value there uh, but maybe Joe hasn't played with Carl a lot we don't know that uh, I certainly don't recognize him but still a healthy pot there wow sick river for Carl I mean, obviously, he doesn't realise how hard that's... He's reloading. Yeah. Um, obviously, he doesn't realise how hard that river has hit Carl. Yeah. But I think when we bet there and get called, there are some strange straight draws that complete for Carl as well there. Um, you know, the hands like the Jack-9 suited Carl could have easily have uh, raised yeah. his foot with him yeah. called the turn. So I would have been looking to, you know, inflict a bit of damage there and going quite big. Yeah, yeah. But still, uh, an uncomfortable sick, pot. sick river for Carl. Yeah, an uncomfortable uh, river for Carl and a, and a good, uh, a good shot in the arm. Does Joe, Joe, if Joe misses, does he bet out same amount, smaller amount, no. bigger amount? I think, think he checks the river. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, like I said, the king is not a brick. It, it does complete some hands that Carl could have called the turn with. So, I, I mean, if I was in that position and it came a brick, I, I think I would have probably bet myself maybe 30% pot on the river if I was Joe. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the comments, people. John Moore, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Definitely an action game worth watching. Uh, thank you, Robert Lane. Glad you're loving the stream. 
definitely uh, more action to come from what I can see. What do you think, Ali? Absolutely. I mean, it's been a great start, and let's hope that it continues in the same vein. Yeah. You never know. That Losing that pot with Carl might, uh, might go up the gears now. Mm -hmm. And he's certainly got plenty of those. Is this a misdeal? Uh, yeah, I think this is a misdeal. People are showing their hands here. Uh, no, I think... Uh, oh, is this, a, is this a flip? Yeah, I think the players are doing a flip, but it looks like PLO here. They're doing a little flip just to... Uh, yeah, I think that maybe it's every hour they do a flip. Maybe the dealer's changed. Maybe a dealer changed flip. Yeah, dealer changed flip. You'll notice that's a common in cash games, usually... When the dealer changes, they'll do either a bomb pot or a, a PLO flip. Oh so that's what we're witnessing now. Uh, I think this flip is over. I think AJ is showing nines in his hand. Yeah, yep. on a board of Queen 9-9. Nine, nine. So we've had a yep. one-outer and quads already, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Pay the man. Pay the man. What do you think of the great game of PLO, Ali? Um, I, I, think I know it's you're a, not that much of a fan of it. No, I think it's a, an interesting variation of the game. Oh, oh, wow. Did you see that? We've got graphics for all the yep. six cards. Yep. It's not very often you see that on a stream you get uh, That's right. six cards. It's usually four. Yeah, I mean, that ties in nicely to what we were saying, that because I prefer the four-card Omaha game, not the six card. Oh, okay. The six-card could be really volatile, and I think there's not really a lot of skill involved in six-card. I think anybody with an even rudimentary grasp of how to play can play that, but there's uh, a lot more skill factor in the four-card game. Yeah. But uh, the DJ in me loves the six card. You know what, everyone's all in. Yeah, back as soon as there's like four left, all in, all in, all in, all in. All in. <laughs> two, yeah. Last, <laughs> last person stood just like puts the stack to everyone. Oh, God. It's like chopping eh? Divide by eight. I'm out now. The DJ in me loves the six card. <laughs> there are more and more Holden players going to the quote unquote dark side of uh, six card PLO, though, Antonius. We've seen a, yeah. a huge upturn in that Havelberg. Yeah. Even in, to uh, not just six card, but PLO in general, you see the number of entries in mm. PLO tournaments get bigger and bigger. I'll tell you what my favorite variant of Hold'em is. Short deck. Oh my I love short word. Deck. Nah, uh, do you know what? That's just a game that hasn't really taken off in the UK. Yes, we've got Warbs with the Ace Queen off, three betting. Yeah, I'm going to predict that all four of these players will be going to a flop. I can't see any of these players folding these uh, hands. Jagger is calling. And we've got already... Oh, no. I think you were wrong there. We've got a fold from Joe, but AJ ain't. I can't see AJ folding. Yeah. Got a lovely pot already here, three points. Okay, and it could be uh, certainly Jagger might be folding as well. Is Jagger the original over here? He's cold. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've got some potential here, ladies and gentlemen, on this uh, with these three hands in particular. Um. Well, Jagger's flop best. Yep. Yeah. You won't be loving it. I think Warbs probably has to continue now as the as the pre-flop uh, aggressor. Uh, it's horrible, isn't it, when you get a hand like that and you just get the complete brick board. I mean, we do have a backdoor flush draw and still have two overs. Uh, I'd be most weary about AJ here because I think when you're calling from the blinds, this is the kind of texture that hits you hard. Yeah. Nine, ten, that, those sort of things. Come on, Manchester! Forbes is uh, betting about 30% pot here. And what do you think, Ant? Jagger, is he going to continue here having it's qualified? It's a bit hard. There's no spades on the flop, so he doesn't really have any back doors. But he's going to call one more street. He's keeping Warbs honest here. 
I think yeah. if Warbs uh, goes for the, depending on what the turn comes, I think Jagger may fold. But who knows? Maybe uh, Jagger might have spotted something on uh, Warbs here. It's got two out. Ooh. Uh, I don't think that card will concern Jagger. No. Uh, I think it will concern Warbs a little bit more because he'll know that if Jagger did call uh, the flop with a hand like fives, maybe a seven or even a deuce, yeah. he's certainly not going to fold now on the turn. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this go in check check. What kind of cards do you think Warbs could have continued betting the turn with? I think all the Broadway cards and possibly a completed push draw as well. Yep, I think we're just going to see yeah. a check check on the river here. Quite a hefty pot, or, you know, yeah. 6.2k in the middle. Is, uh, I mean, Warbs can think maybe uh, Jagger's bricked a draw and ace queen high is good. But... Yeah, I think Warbs knows as well yeah. that the move that Jagger's in also is also a very good player. I think the texture that the board ran out on was a bit unfortunate for Warbs because I think there's a lot of turns that he could have continued on yeah. and feasibly got Jagger to fold that deuce there. Yeah. But the way it's played out, uh, I think both players knew exactly where they were. Yeah, uh, and that, that's actually a very, very interesting hand that we've just seen there. Two top-level players, um, both both game inside out. And I do believe that had Warburton bet the river, I think there was a strong possibility that Jagger might have called with it. I think he was definitely going to call. So yeah, a very interesting hand again. And it's nice to see a bit of life and a bit of colour returning to the cheeks of Jagger. Because yeah. he has been... Uh... I mean, if it doesn't pair up on the turn and Wolves were to bet, Wolves wins the part. Yeah. But pair it up and it goes check, check. Jagger's not folding river. Yeah, absolutely. It was an unfortunate run out for. But you see, I know a lot of players there Ant, that would have gone bet, bet, bet. And against a player like Jagger, especially when he's behind, I think you might have got looked up there. You know how many times, whether in a tournament or a cash game, I've gone bet, bet, bet. And I end up speaking to myself saying, Why did I do that? Why have I done this? Oh, if, if please let me get this through. I won't do it again and rubbish like that. Sometimes you just... Do you, do you ever make it a bit personal on the table? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you got someone in, say... like, let's say, a tournament. Someone uh, constantly raises your big blind, for example. Do you start making it, taking it personal? I think it's hard not to, and I think that's what differentiates the top players um, from the sort of uh, players who play recreationally. They have a mindset. I've been on a table before where I felt like somebody just raising me all the time and taking advantage of me. And obviously your ego gets involved and you might try and do something to, to alleviate that. But yeah. it goes back to a funny story where what you were talking about, you were talking to yourself. I actually heard an American in Vegas this last series talking to himself about that. He goes, man, why did you bet that river? You know he's going to call you. You know he's gone he was talking to himself. So he's obviously gone bet, bet, bet and been looked up and he was fuming. And I caught him talking to himself. So yeah. Um, you, you, sort, you sort of commit yourself and then realise what you've done That's afterwards. Right. Yeah, there's been many a times I thought, oh, if I get this through, I'm not going to do it again. Yeah. Things like that. But you get sort of like a buzz from doing it. Yeah, for sure. People in the chat, let us know what's the funniest thing you've heard at a poker table. Because, um, I mean, I could do uh, yeah, an entire no. podcast on that. Let us know if you've heard some funny things on the table. Keep it clean, please. Ladies That's gentlemen. exactly it, Nathan. I won't do it again in the industry, but the same player next time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Nathan knows. What do you look for in people for tells? Do you go for the old neck throbber? Yeah, I mean, there are... Uh, Shakes. Yeah, there's, there's loads of what I would call blatant tells. But then you also have got the micro tells and the micro expressions and things mm -hmm. that people are doing without even realising. I mean, I'd... Someone I'd, speaking Yeah. on the river. They've bet or gone all in on the river. Well, what do you deduce from that? Sign well, of weakness, sign of... Usually the golden rule is that showing strength is a sign of weakness. 
But I know that I've used that to my advantage myself as well. So it's tricky because people are a lot more adept at deception nowadays. Yeah. Um, but I think it's one of those things, Antonius, where the more you play, especially live, the more you can pick up behavior patterns and certain things that of people course, do. Yeah. Um, but it's not by any chance uh, or stretch of the imagination an exact science. Um, it's quite difficult. That's why live poker will always be the best form of poker. I know there's a lot of uh, online wizards and stuff, but my personal preference is definitely live. Sorry. Everybody seems to have whiffed this flop hand. We had some, uh, some nice hands as well. Seven, eight of spades, six, seven of clubs. And you get the complete king deuce deuce break. I think what's he, happened in the game is that he who dares it right got now. off to such an incredible high intensity, high energy start. Now even the behaviour of the players, there's not a lot of talking going on. They've sort of coming down almost from that rush yeah. at the start. But you know what? It's like any cash game. All it takes one hand. Absolutely. Someone goes on tilt. Someone wins a big pot. It just restarts everything. Absolutely, yeah. But yeah, this is going to be he who dares. Oh, Carl River to 10. I was going to say, he can't just go check, check all the way. He's not going to get caught here. It looks like we'll be on to the next. All the wrong colour for me. No bell rung there. No. Nope. Good. You in the hands? Robert said last week on a 1-1 game at dusk, my mate calls it off on the flop, on the flop saying, I have back doors and I came here to gamble. Lovely. And he hit a runner, runner flush. That's right. <laughs> yep. That's the attitude sometimes. You come for a spin, you come for a spin. Nathan said, I like when people call and throw the chips towards you. Ever had... I'm assuming ever happened to anyone. Yep. I mean, to be fair, Nathan, I'm one of those people. Like, if I've got ace king and somebody's got tens, I'll just start moving the chips towards them. <laughs> I just know I can't win. Um, so yeah, I'm unfortunately that, that's I'm one of those. just confidence. Yeah. The confidence has been beaten out of me with a stick. <laughs> right, and here we go. Some action is going to be happening here. Vinny with the beautiful uh, soul ace behind. five off. Uh, Mitch getting out of the way with the A7 off there. And AJ with the 10s. Oh, thinking about it here. I think he's called with the Jack 9. Ooh. A gut shot for Carl, an overpay oh my God. for Jack, and also a gut shot for Vinny. So, a temble on the turn. Something for everyone. AJ, best hand right now. Gonna decide to what's your bet pot? <coughs> 700, I think. Eight, 600. 600. Yeah, we know Vinny ain't going, going nowhere. nowhere. I, I think don't... Carl's gonna get a bit fruity here. What do we think? Oh, you might yeah. be right, and this is what we've come to watch. Carl lives for moments like these, lives for it. So what do you think the thinking is here, Rob? Because obviously AJ is the pre-flop raiser. He's now led on the flop in, into two people. Carl decided to raise him. What's Carl trying to represent here, do you think? Set, maybe. Because if you're AJ here, you can't be thinking that Carl's can't flat called a hand like overpay, Jacks or Queens. Yeah. yeah. Set. I think if he thinks or about this... Or maybe a flop straight. Yeah. Yeah, the 5-6 suited is definitely a hand he could have. But I think against a, a player like Carl, I don't think I'm relinquishing tens on this board. When you know that Carl is so capable. Cheers, Nathan. Have a good time in the gym, mate. Look after yourself. Do some exercise for me. I'm getting a bit weightier these days. I Have think, we got uh, a, uh... AJ's made the call, on Because I think he took a while uh, to think about it and he's probably thinking along the same lines as me. Uh, and now I don't is, think uh... he can continue. Vinny, uh, 
Vinny's, I mean, he's got a fold, right? Yeah, he. I mean, even Vinny can't continue here. If he had the ace five of hearts and had the back door not push draw, I think he'd be much more inclined to just YOLO. But I think uh, Vinny just has to relinquish his hand here, the way the action's unfolding in front of him. But like we said, Vinny does not like to fold. He's uh, he decided against fold? it and he's yeah. folded. Wow. And this turn is going to be very interesting, and especially if it bricks. Cole needs a jack or a 10 here. Or if it comes a 6, Carl definitely keep smashing it. I think I want to see 7k in the around. middle. I want to see like a queen or a jack on the river, on the turn here. That's that certainly not one of those. That is a complete brick. I think this just goes uh, all in now, I think, from Carl. The line that he's taken. Uh, hey, that card would have improved Vinny's hand. Yeah, it would have indeed. They're giving him a double gutter yeah. and an over card. I think we're going to see Carl go. Oh, Carl's checked. Mm. What do you do if you're AJ here? You bet the flop and then. Got raised. Raised. I think. And he's checked the turn to you. I think if if I was in this situation, knowing how capable Carl is, Carl could have been raising the flop with I a hand he's like. Gone all in. Yeah, he could have been raising the flop with a hand like a seven, a eight, king eight, queen eight, queen seven. All of those hands we're beating. And now because Carl checks to us, it looks like that he raised the flop with information, and when he got pulled, he decided to shut down. So I think a, uh, AJ did um, sniffing it out and played the hand really, really well. Mm. Unlikely of uh, uh, strange to see Carl check that turn. Yeah, I think credit where it's due. I think uh, uh, AJ played that hand really, really well. Very impressive. It seems like he knew exactly where he was at all stages. Obviously, the juice on the turn helped him feel a lot. No overpowered. There's no uh, double paired boards. There's no completion of any straight on the on the uh, turn, so uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm really happy the way uh, AJ played that hand and takes down a nice pot. Thank you, Spinksy, for your comments. Spinksy, another Dust Till Dawn legend and a UK poker legend, just sent me a message with some nice words. Nice words. I hope you're enjoying it, mate, and uh, we look forward to. Going head to head with you on the tournaments and the cash game. Spinksy, of course, regular viewers will know who also plays the stream. And uh, look forward to but seeing you soon. Forget the stream. Spinksy final the Irish Hope. Been That's two right. Years two years ago. Years ago yeah. He eventually succumbed to the winner, didn't he? And he was unstoppable. That, that, that oh, well, you know you're unstoppable when the man keeps the same chair that he ran off yeah. for a few days. And... O'Dwyer brought the same chair back the next year that he won the tournament. I'd like to see you get away with me, taking a chair with you. I'd like to see me win. What's happening here, Anton? Forbes has an incredible amount of experience. This game, I've been at the game so long, even before both mine and your time, I think. I can actually remember Ant, when I was at Dust Till Dawn and there was um, hushed whispers going on about this new player like tearing up the team. And I actually landed on his table and I thought, let's see what this guy is all about. And I was out the very next hand. So <laughs> I didn't actually get to play with him then. But I've played with him since and uh, obviously he's a so he's an exceptional player. Yeah, he's just been outdrawn by Joe here on the turn. Do you think he's maybe checking there to, to, to go for a sort of bet that looks a bit bruffy on the river? Oh. He's checked again. Wow. This is a very strange time for go. Oh, Wolves can't believe it. Wolves thought he might be winning this place. Yeah. yeah. That look said it all for Wolves. Tell you what, not only has he done well in poker, but he's done well in life. He's a 
Not been that long married, has he? To the yep. lovely Rachel Hennigan. Yeah, the as ethereal, many you know. ethereal, uh, timeless beauty that is Rachel Hennigan. Um, Listen, she's a taken woman now. Enough of that. Yeah, I don't want to fall out with me. But yeah, Listen, he's already stacked you on the table. Yeah, no, he didn't stack me that that day. Somebody else did. But I was actually looking forward to playing against him. But yeah. Rachel, everybody on the UK poker scene will know or recognise Rachel. She's been a stalwart of the scene for a long time. And she's currently our boss, isn't she? Right. So, uh, yeah, shout out to Rachel. The DTD live team, thank you for having us. We know me and Ali were requested by a popular demand of one person. I'd like to say that one person was me. I made an email and uh, a different name and said I want Ali and Ann back. So yep. thanks for that. It's just been a bit quiet, hasn't he, Ann? Yeah. But I think he's been a victim of distribution a little bit. But I'm sure it won't be long before they lock horns in a big one. Well, okay, fine. Ann won't be going anywhere here. Oh. I think Vinny might get involved. Vinny loves these type of cards, you know. Yeah, where, what position is he? Is he in the cutoff? Oh, he's caught. Oh, it's Vinny who raised. Oh, my word. It says on the graphics Vinny was the original raiser. Oh, Vinny yeah, so has qualified here, right? He's not not be relinquishing this hand. Well, he's got Mitch to hold a better hand than him. Yeah, he will not be relinquishing this hand for love nor money. And there oh it is. Oh my word. Oh my god. And this is the kind Vinny... of situation where uh, Ant might be a little bit weary now because he doesn't have top tier. And, um, I don't think he is going to be that weary, you know, because it's quite a, it's a flushy straight board, isn't it? So he's just called with ease there. Wow, Vinny's just drilled another four on the turn. Any kind jack here? No. And that is very, very, I think very safe. Vinny may get paid off here, mate. It depends how he goes here, and see in this situation. Unlike the one uh, in the hand between Joe and Tom, I would actually go smaller here. Uh, I'd probably go like 1.1k and try and get a crying call yeah. from a hand like a jack. He said I'm all in. Oh wow, he's gone for the absolute coconuts here. But this again looks like a bluff. Did he check the flop hand and then leave the turn? No, he bet, bet, bet Oh, he's gone bet, bet, jam. Okay, that looks really strong now. I don't see how I'd easily call this. The only hand he is beating is like the ace ten. Vinny's of... famous for though. Yeah. He put, look, he makes people pull that face. Yeah. And this is why I said, Ant, when Vinny gets a bit of wind in his sails, he can be a extreme difficult yeah. play against. <laughs> Wow. I wonder if Ant is going to get away from this. I mean, I cannot believe who is in the chat. Sorry to interrupt you, Ant. That is our man, H, from Vegas, that took us to that beautiful Italian oh, restaurant. And yes, H. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, H. How are you, my brother? I can't believe all the you're way joining from, us here. All the way from Vegas. Wow. Yeah. We, I still we... remember that uh, lobster fra diavolo that I had, uh, the fantastic restaurant you took us to in Vegas. I hope you're well, my brother. I we're... hope your family's well, and I hope we can see you soon. That, that's made my day. We're reaching audiences in Vegas. Yeah. We're, we're officially worldwide. What an absolute gentleman. And while uh, we get back to the action here, Ant, Ant is, is still in the tank here. Vinny has made me feel very uncomfortable I'm trying to work out uh, what kind of hand that Vinny would open and then go bet, bet, jamble. It's one of those he knows it's a bluff or nothing. Absolutely I think he's convinced nothing. himself that Vinny's got like ace, ten of hearts or king, ten of hearts or king, nine of hearts or something like that. Because that's the only range. King, ten. That, yeah, that's the only range that he can be putting him on to consider falling with, with, with a jack. If he had a queen, I think it would be a lot more difficult. Yeah. 
He's looking at his watch. That usually means a call on. We were talking about microtoes and body language. Uh, I think he might get away from it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, when oh. a man looks at his watch, it oh, looks like chip, he's going to call. The chip is about to... I don't believe you. Oh, just, so a pain. In head, he's in so he's much pain feelings. here. So and he's he telling the table, he goes, I've got the gut feeling. You see, in this situation, and sometimes it's worse. Vinny's to... not giving right, nothing yeah, away. It's worse to save the money and see the bluff than to lose the money and lose the hand. Yeah. I think he's going to call him. By the time he finds out, if he, if he falls, by the time he finds out, if it's a bluff. Vinny will show him. You think? Yes, but it's not a bluff, is it? Vinny's got a fall. I can't see Vinny showing him. Oh, he's got, you know when you've got the chip ready, that could just get flicked in seconds. I'm, I'm going to stick to my years of experience and say that he is going to call. I'm going to go with fold. He's tortured here, ladies and gentlemen. And this is why we love this game. Because these are the spots, Antonio. Yeah, because these are the spots in a game. You might get them once or twice, but they will determine whether you win in the session or not. Because this is a £4,700 decision for Ant. If he gets this right, he's just made 5k. If he gets it wrong, he's in a bigger hole. So this is pivotal. This is vital. This is drama. And this is no, Friday if he's night taken poker. this long, Ali, I think it, I, I'd go with a fold. What do we think, people? I mean, it depends how long he's in the tank. I think he's... Uh... This is the video. You're still sticking with your guns on a call, yeah? Yeah, I think he's going to make the flying call. And... Has he folded? Ah, oh, he's called, hasn't he? No, he's folded. He's called. Look. Did he make the call? Yeah. Yeah. He made chirping. the call. And I did say, and you know, we were talking about those microtels earlier. Yeah. When a man looks at his watch, I should know what the Livy call done. Because they're only shipping that middle pot over. It says on the graphics, so it says the uh, all in. Yeah, apologies for this, ladies and gentlemen. We're not sure what's happened here. Oh, no, he's collecting chips, and he did make the call. Yep, he did make the call on. Wow. And um, discussion I really wasn't. thought he was going to find the fault. <laughs> yep, discussion wasn't. Well, like I said, it is pretty soon. It's either a complete bluff, he's got yep. nothing. And not to be results orientated, and even against Vinny, <laughs> he got beat there. He went bet, bet, jab. I, I don't know, let's, really uh, let's check the graphic. Oh, the I'm not sure if it's... Ace or, or Ace Queen. I feel like the bet will be him, uh, Brennan Hellfire so says was a... I can't always be a hero. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I inclined to agree with you there, Brennan. Only because it was... I mean, like we were talking as well about bet, bet, jam. It usually is really, really strong. I mean, I think the Vinny factor definitely played a part there in Ant falling the hand. Um, but Vinny going from strength to strength again. And uh, his uh, reputation paying him off. Yeah. Oh, here we go. He's got the Ali Ayubes. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. People are saying he didn't call on the chat, but he's stacked up with big pots. Oh, we can absolutely have nothing. I wouldn't have folded like a queen. I guess we're going to have to find out from uh, the actual table soon. So AJ here with a beautiful hand pre-flop. This is a flop that I'd be quite happy on under those aces feet. Um, not really that <laughs> yeah, strange, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's the, the on a flop like this, you know you with your aces. Vinny with a fortunately for Warbs, it looks like shot. probably going to lose Vinny here. 
after just winning that part, I can't really see him getting involved here with a gut shot. If there was one diamond on there, I would say that he was fading. Uh, then he might be playing, thinking, play the rush. <laughs> It looks like he's making the call, Ali. He's made the call. Wow. And this is why we love Vinny and we love Friday Night Poker. Vinny conjures six ball there. What a great word. That's the word of the day. Congratulations. Beautiful word, that. No one ever says congratulations to me anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I think if uh, it's a decent card for Warbs to carry on firing. Yeah. This is where, Warbs. as Warbs, you're just oh, praying. He's got less than a pot size yeah. bet. You're just so. praying that Vinny's got Jack 10, Jack 9, something like that here. I can confirm, people, on the chat, he did call Vinny on the river. Yeah, <laughs> Warbs going for all of it, like you said, yeah. like a pot size bet. And I think knowing your customer here, I think you know that he's going to make the crying call with any qualifying hand, Jack, Jack yeah. 10. Maybe sometimes even a, a push roll. If Vinny had like the ace 10 of spades there, he might pull it off. I think if Vinny had any kind of push draw, there would be no delay. His chips would be in. But I think uh, Warbs is just going to take this down. I'm not folding yet. Yeah, Scott, so um, uh, in the chat, I hope that's cleared up for you. He did make the call. Um, so, yeah, another very, very, very interesting hand. And uh, surprisingly enough, Vinny's in the tank here. Facing a better 3.4k. I think he's shown him. Bob seems uh, relaxed. Yes. Have we had any more uh, guesses for our competition today? Biggest pot of the night. Person who gets this uh, correct will win a seat. A £230 uh, seat to use here at Just Till Dawn uh, for the WSOP circuit events that are coming here. It's a great, great um, festival. I played a lot of the tournaments last year. And uh, one lucky viewer who guesses close to the highest pot of the night. So we've had a few guesses. The cutoff point is still a couple of hours away. But like I said, I envisage that the pots will get bigger and bigger and bigger. So please get your guesses in and please also put your Twitter <laughs> handle alongside um, your guests. Um, just going back to the action here, we saw a river and did they just rabbit hook that river? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vinny folded the, yeah, the, the good shot. Right so still a nice pop there for Wolves and we move on. Who's left in the sand again? Oh, Mitch is heads up again, yeah. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. Maybe he thought he'd get there. When you're running hot, you do feel like you can take down every pot, though, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah, you've you seen that, it time and time. That air of invinci invincibility washes over you when you start yeah. building a few towers and, and hitting a few draws. And, and so. Sometimes that's what it can be down to, Duane. A little bit of confidence. Maybe calling, you know, course, yeah. uh, where maybe the textbook said you shouldn't. But when you get that wind in your sails and you feel like things are going your way, it can become a very easy game. Greg's gone for it. Greg Bennett is a 37.6 thousand pound part. Yep, thank you, you know very what? much, Greg, for your guess. And we're really thankful that you're joining Sean us on this Friday. Sean has said 17 and a half. Robert, 26.2k. Well, it's definitely, uh, I would, if I was to take a punt, I would say over 20. It's definitely warming up. Mm. I can't imagine it will be too long before we see some proper fireworks going off here. Go. 
Um, AJ holding the fours. Oh, to a three bail. But Joe with the ace four suited. Yep. Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This says, is yeah, a how classic much? Carl. He's not playing the cards, he's playing the player. Yeah, that's right. And the position as well, Andy. Yeah. These are the spots we go. Oh, wow. A little something for everyone. The back door not for Joe. literally eyeballing Joe to get any form of info from him. Joe is not... Uh, he's not relinquishing control. It's actually a very good plot for, for uh, Joe, this. Call by Carl. Gareth thinks uh, 33.8k and he's even said who he thinks it's going to be won by. And who's he saying that? By Carl. Wow. Yeah, please, ladies and gentlemen, if you can, when you're putting your guesses in, please be sure to put your Twitter uh, X handles in so we can contact you. It's the safest way. Um, so please uh, make sure that you can do that. Oh, yeah, if you can. we keep calling it Twitter and it's X. Yeah. Yeah, my mate, my mate Elon's going to be messaging me tonight saying, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> <coughs> yeah. So Joe taking Joe. another stab, and I think that's going to be all she wrote for Paul. No, wow. Joe relinquished control on the turn, and as soon as you give it to Carl... And Carl ringing the bell, and this is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, when you go through the echelons of players, this is why Carl Shaw is so dangerous. He's coming to the hand with a, the hand that he's dominated in, the off-suit queen eight, and he's played it in such a way that he's managed to win the pot. Queen four, I beg your pardon. Wow, David's gone for 47 and a half thousand pounds pot. Yeah, and our man Colin Harper has gone in as well as 33.4. We really thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us on this Friday night. I'm sure you're enjoying whoever, this play. Whoever wins this seat, people, I'm going to be rooting for you to win uh, whichever tournament you play in the World Series circuit at Dust or Dawn coming up. is going to be an amazing festival. It's... Uh, quite a prestigious thing to win a World Series ring. Absolutely. So, uh, should be fun. I know I'll be trying to go for one. I almost came close last year. I made the yeah, final you did. The... Is that the one that Jack O'Neill ended up winning? No, no, I bubbled that final oh, table. Uh, it was Jack was on the final with me on the monster stack. I yeah. Think. Jack is a tremendous player. Tremendous some playable hands here now, and um, we've got the A7 suited for AJ, oh, the King Queen for Vinny. Get... Look, look at the pots that can be formed from these stacks here. Paul's in there with the Ace-5. Cut off. Carl is just playing these people out of position. He loves it. Yep, so he's three bet the ace five to two point one uh, oh, sorry, no, two one K. And uh, I think he's instantly pulled by Vinny and AJ. I don't know if I think Antin as well. Is Antin? Yeah, like he's right. got a four way yeah. pot here. So the pot ladies and gentlemen already at four point one K. Um and there are some textures here where it can go absolutely bananas on. So let's see what unfolds. Great flop that for Vinny, top pair with the Queen I pushed Oh, yes. Nothing, but, I mean, AJ has flopped AJ. middle pair, but that's not going to be really filling in with confidence. No, uh, not in a four way. Carl part. and Ant have completely whiffed here, so. Not in a four way. You can imagine Ant's going to be getting out of the way pretty quickly. I imagine AJ sticking around on this board, to be honest. And Carl's gone for the down bet here, £800 into a four point. Okay. But he is next to uh, speak after Carl has bet. So. Oh, he's made the call. He's yeah, sticking around here on a monotone board with the A7. Vinny is, uh, you'd be sort of loving life right now a little bit here, wouldn't you? Being I'm Vinny has Vinny just flat called it? Yeah. I think he has, yeah. 
same Slightly surprising, <laughs> given Vinny's style. He's flopped so well. I thought he might have wanted to inflate the pot Too at that well. Point. Yeah. Um, that is called in the trade, I think, ladies and gentlemen, a brick. A Not quite. Not quite Carl's hand. <laughs> yes, and very astute, you're right. Carl has um, improved now to a double, double gut shot, if I'm correct. He's not slowing down either. That green plaque is a 5k plaque. So and he's got 3.5k here. A deuce, a six, working for Carl now. AJ's going to get out of the way here. I'd be very surprised if he continues. His thought process must be Carl and Vinny are on a club high. draw. Yeah. But to iron up Vinny's stack. He knows that he can get stacked by either player. They do have him covered. Paul has now bet 3.5k, the pot is a, 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 exactly 10,000 at the moment. I fell out of love with it, to be honest. Hmm? I'm just not. You, not very he's good, uh, in a Carl and Vinny sandwich right now. Yep, he's made the right fold. And we know that Vinny will not be folding, and what I will say to you is that if we see an offsuit deuce on this river, I, I guess, this could be. A huge pot. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Is he just called? He's yeah. called, yeah. Oh, yeah wow. Carl needs a bit of a miracle here. Adventurous. Oh. I mean, Vinny will be slightly concerned about that, that card. But it'll be very interesting to see what Carl does now. There's 13k in the pot and Carl's playing 16. So, it'll be interesting to see what he takes. He's taking a he, very strong Carl, line here. Carl knows he obviously is not winning. The only alternative is Vinnie Brick the flush draw, but... But in that case, you have to bet, right? Yeah. But, again... Oh, wow. All you can eat, ladies Carl and gentlemen. Is he has gone for clip. it. And now, if Vinny makes the call here... Oh, my God, he's flicked in the chip. Oh, my God, he called immediately. Wow. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. 45.8k. Wow. We have just witnessed one of the biggest pots in Just Till Dawn history. And wow. that call, Antonius, was instant. In the biggest pot. Instantly called. The I just seen the chip flying in the air. Wow. Wow, ladies. Look at that. What have we just witnessed here? I cannot believe how quickly Vinny called that. And there was no consideration. He knew exactly where he was, and Carl Shaw has immediately exited the scene. I think he must have gone to reload. Let's try and listen to what Vinny's saying here. Vinny. Wow. I don't know what to say. Nice call, Vinny. It was just well, instantly man. called. Cheers. Look how many chips and plaques are on the table here. Look at this great aerial shot that we've got here at Just Till Dawn. What an incredible hand. Carl Shaw showing the heart of a lion and going bet, bet, jam against one of the most volatile players at the table. And Vinny, instantly we saw the chip hurtling through the air. That is so impressive, Anton Vinny. The, the pain that you must feel when you're going all in, that chip, before it landed, it, it, it landed as Carl's chips were still moving across the line. Extraordinary hand, ladies and gentlemen. And the Dean is still trying to sort out the chips. I can tell you one thing, Carl Shaw may have left his seat, but he most certainly has not left the building. He's gone to reload and he will be back and he will mean business. And the question is, how much does Carl reload for? Well, we know that he's, we know uh, he's not got shy. Under, just under 50k, like 45k. What an incredible hand we've just witnessed there. And ladies and gentlemen, those of you uh, that are joining me and Antonius in the chat, what a privilege. What have we just seen here? We really want to hear your comments about how quickly Vinny called that. 
uh, and the heart and the bravery shown by Carl Shaw. You know, this is real money, ladies and gentlemen. That is £48,000, £45,000. That is still being counted out for Vinny. And I did say that if Vinny gets ahead of Steen, he will be a force to be reckoned with. And the alacrity with which he just called that hand yep. should tell you that you can't mess with this guy. Oh, no. Point. Vinny is a force to be reckoned with, but wow for the jam from Carl. I mean, let's face it. There's a lot of people who maybe would have folded, who would have folded that hand. Vinny didn't even take three seconds before you saw the pink chip curling in the air. That's right, and, and we've got some comments coming in now. Renan Hellfire saying that he was uh, sure that he'd make the call on the on the when he called the turn if it didn't come a club. I think the speed with which Vinny called there would probably underline the point that you're making. And also Robert Lane saying crazy call, massive from Paul to put that rough through. And this is what it takes, ladies and gentlemen, to be a top player. You've seen it in a microcosm there. You've got to have the ability and the mental fortitude to make a play like that. But you've also got to have the same ability to be able to call it. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not just about folding the worst hand and playing the best hand and that. Someone like Carl, to be able to empty the clip on such things, obviously it didn't work out for him here. Yeah. But you can imagine it works out for him a lot. Absolutely. How many players has he got to fold a good hand like that? Yeah. Because of the run hand. out. An incredible hand, and it's a privilege for us to be commentating on a hand like that. And I, I am going to check, but I do think that's either the biggest pop we've ever seen at the still door, but it's definitely in the top two or three. That was incredible. Wow. That... Hey, the game was good when Mitch was playing, wasn't it? Oh, oh sorry, he's still here. Then? Oh, I beg your pardon, I thought yeah. Mitch had left us. He's sorry. actually still here. Sorry, let's just remind you of this uh, lineup, ladies and gentlemen. We do have Mitch Johnson playing. We have Ant. We have uh, Jagger. We've got Warbs. We've got Carl. Really we've got Vinny. Sure. We've got AJ. And the carnage has steaming. been incessant from the very right beginning. And, and Mitch is at a front row view to it all, yeah. Yeah. watching. I'll, I'll Absolutely. Honestly, what, what a guy. 50, yeah. Oh, he's, he's put uh, 50 quid in the pot. Yeah, go on, Mitch. He's put the decent 60 hand there. Jagger taking a leaf out of my book and uh, looking for a loan. Re Renan Hellfire. I wouldn't be uh, chirping too soon. If Carl is coming back to reload, he's coming back for blood. That's right. And with Vinny stacked the way it is. See, knowing what I know of Carl now, I don't think he's going to be targeting Vinny in a malicious way. But he will be trying to enter into every single pot that Vinny's in. Oh, yeah. Because he'll be looking to win that big pot of Vinny. Because Vinny's, Vinny's no, not shy of uh, taking more. That's right. I mean, the ladies and gentlemen who maybe don't know the players as well as we do, uh, Vinny winning 20, 30,000 will just make no difference to him. Vinny's here to play, and he will play till the very end, and he'll just continue to yeah. play his game. Well, uh, let's just give a shout out to Mitch. He played a hand. Folded and uh, did he yeah. win the hand? No, did he? Did he? Yeah. Except for the one hand versus you. Table still discussing and, and as, yes, as those said, green plaques in front of Carl are five Ks. That's right. And look at Carl, the consummate professional, already back in the seat, already the reloaded feet, and already laughing and, and smiling. Look at that sure. stack of Vinnies. Eh? He's got yeah. some green ones under them, purple one Ks. <laughs> Carl has come back <laughs> for blood. And this is what it takes, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, being honest with myself and the viewers, I think the elite mentality is what separates the good players from the great players. And I know myself that I've lacked in that department. Uh, we were talking earlier on about making it personal, etc. But when you've got the mentality that these players have got, they are consummate professionals. And that's why they're doing well in the game. Of course, of course. Well, that's the only department you're lacking, is it? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we've got Ace Queen off for Carl. You see, now it might work for Carl's advantage. They may think he's on tilt. Absolutely. And these are the dynamics hand in the game. And uh, I think I'd like to put a bet that Mitch might play this hand. I mean, he's waited Ooh, long enough for it. Let's see. The, uh... the good ones again. Mitch decided to three bet here. Um, yeah, he's, he knows how to pick his moment. Judging he's by the way, there. Carl's just eyed up his stack. It's very difficult to see at the moment, but is Mitch under the gun? Uh, I should have taken the over. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but the three bet has been made to 1.7k. I think he is under the gun. I can imagine Ant dropping out here with the King Goose of Clubs. Mitch doesn't realise that two of his outs are gone. One very important AJ's turn off. Yep. But, I said sharp, gotta be sharp, weary. Like we said, Mitch hasn't line. really played much. Well, any hands. Oh, wow. He's in for it. AJ coming Shot along here with the ace 10 off. A little bit loose, I think, yeah. given the way that Mitch has been playing. Yeah. Well, we should just <laughs> rename this game. <laughs> Don't like folding. <laughs> the. Vinny's 6 5 up. I would honestly, by the, I was looking at the cards, think he's going to flop the best. Is he called? Yeah. Wow. This is what I was saying about Vinny. There's no evidence or no chance that he's going to quote unquote lock up. Vinny is here to play, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Oh. Very, very good flop for, uh, for Mitch here. There's quite a few clubs that have left the Deccan, so yeah. it's going to be difficult. I think... Oh, Vinny's uh, also flopped a double gutter. Yep, he won't be going anywhere. Not much really working for Carl or AJ here. Yeah, it's not happening for Carl um, at the moment. This is actually a really, really good texture for Mitch to continue on, which he will do. Um, I think he's down bet here. Signif oh no, he's moved all in. Okay. Wow. He's got. Oh, he had almost a pot size bet behind and he decided to go for it. I mean, I don't blame him for taking that line out because he'll be in decent shape whatever he's up against. Yeah. Uh, as long as it's not a well, set. Well, even so, when you're drawing to the nuts, it's always a good position to be in. But is Vinny going to give him a spin? I think Vinny might well give him a spin. I mean, obviously, I would personally consider myself that there is a chance that some of my outs can be dirty here. Yeah. So that's why I'd be more inclined to fold. But we all know what Vinny's style is and Currently, he's here to play. Currently, Vinny's won all the big pots. That's right. What did, what, what did Vinny start with? Do we know 10k, 5k? I'm not sure. and I think it might have been 10k. I could be wow. wrong. 35,000 pounds. But uh, don't quote me on that. I mean, so much has happened <laughs> since I, yeah. I might not even remember where I live at wow. the end of this uh, stream. I'm not I'm not I'm not The double gutter. Wow. Oh my it's god, it's cold. It's cold. And Vinny has made the Is Vinny gonna wipe the smile off Mitch's face? Mitch giving that nervous smile, and yeah. he knows that Vinny's in good form. I mean, if he loses this, it will be really sickening. Um, so Vinny needs a five, six. A four or an eight, that's not a club. Yeah. And the outs are there, ladies and gentlemen. He could be drawing dead on the turns. The, the ones that are faded out are the ones that have already been passed. Oh, yeah, you're, it was a setup. Crushed, it literally bro. was a setup, man. That was a setup, bro. Uh, yeah, instant. it's all over. Instantaneous nuts for me. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen. 2 point two k going towards me. This is why he's one of the most successful cash game players around. He plays... Oh, another one! Oh, just for good measure, I yeah, guess. Yeah, um, and you've seen it here now, ladies and gentlemen. Not really doing much, uh, but when it comes to getting all his money in, he makes sure that there's, uh, there's four clubs on the board. So Mitch winning a lovely hand there. And, uh, hopefully that See, we lit a fire under Mitch. Yeah. Do you want to give me a stack for this, boss? 
Okay. Give me a second pink for those. What a nice spot to, to three bet the ace tenner clubs and get the two club board. Oh, it's yeah, always yeah. nice to be all in and have your opponent dead on the turn. Oh, yeah. on, it's what we all dream of. It happened for me once. Splashes, we love splashes. How many years ago? I can't remember. It wasn't in recent memory, that's for sure. I'm sure we can. Uh... So that was another casually another 20k pot. Uh, that is a good point, Renan Hellfire. We haven't been seeing any run it twice, but I don't think these boys came to run it twice. Yeah, they want blood. Another excellent point. I mean, I know myself when I play the cash games that usually there's a gentleman's agreement before the the river or the flop's been uh, shown. People, so one of the players will usually ask. You haven't seen that once here. I don't think it's, it's uh, part of the construct of the game where you can't run it twice. I just think these guys are here to gamble and, and they're going for it. Let's talk about running it twice. What do you think of that? Do you think it shows weakness to ask to run it twice? Do you think it makes someone gamble more knowing they can run it twice? What do we think? It can do. Uh, I mean, usually that's why when people say do you want to run it twice, they don't reveal their hand until the answer's been given. Yeah. So like, if me and you were all in pre-flop, I'll say once or twice. And then if you say to me, I've got sixes and I've got kings, then I might say, oh, I don't want to run it twice. So people usually have a gentleman's agreement beforehand. Yeah. But I think it's also got something to do with etiquette as well. And when people are playing private games, they want to be able to be fair and give the people the chance. So I think this is what happens. It's, uh, I don't know. I feel like if I was to ask someone if you want to run it twice, it's a sign of weakness. Yeah, I, ca I can understand how it can be construed as being that for sure. But we haven't seen any uh, such examples of that tonight, and No, I think, like I said, these boys came for blood. Yep, they're here to play. You've got some of the best players in the UK right on this table. You've got, obviously, people like Warbs, Carl Shaw. You've got Mitch, who, like I said, is a star the stream. He's just yep. been, you know, do this for a living all your life. Yep. You've got to have big respect for that. Yeah, obviously, we, give, we love uh, uh, giving him some Yeah, We give Mitch a hard time because um, he deserves it. <laughs> Warbs 3 bet in the ace 10, yeah? He's been pretty quiet. He's only won one pot when he had the kings, really, hasn't he? Um, or no, he's and, been, he's and aces. Yeah. yeah. He's been involved. But there weren't anything to... Yeah, substantial. Uh, We've got yeah. three-way action here. Again, nothing really here for anybody. I think we'll probably see Warbs taking the initiative here on that texture. Oh my god, Rachel's gone for 74k for the biggest part of the night. Wow, let's hope so. Let me know when that happens. I'll stand by the cash desk. AJ with 65. In. Oops. About 800 here. I can't conceivably see anybody uh, continuing here, and there really just isn't anything. Unless uh, they've got a plan for later on down the uh, AJ and Vinny will be thinking about potential backdoor straight cards here. I did well, you know, I dodged a bullet, you know, here. Yeah. You know, you're not free betting to fold, are you? Ace Queen, is it? Queen of Clubs. Just wanted to um, keep them in and keep a big, like. Lovely shot of the food. I know you yep. ain't got a bad, bad hand. I know it's definitely not free bet fold, so I might as well just call. Know that you got something good. Yeah, Warbs takes it down. Yep. Makes a nice 2.2k profit there. Yep. Joe's been wow. a bit quiet, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh my god. You know when you Carl I think Carl is loaded up for fifty K. Yeah, I was just that was, man. I turned it open. This is normal and players. This is what they do. Can you imagine a pop between Carl and Vinny? Right now. Right now. Oh wow. my word. Fireworks. Uh, Ladies okay, and gentlemen, stay tuned because that is a possibility in the very, very near future. There is a potential in this game 
for a pot of over a hundred thousand pounds. You've got one player sitting on about forty-six, forty-seven thousand, and another player sitting on about fifty. So the night is young. We're going to be here all the way till the end. We thank you very much for joining us, myself, Ali Ayub, and Antonius, and uh, we're going to be taking you through to the end. That's right. Stay tuned, people. I can see some big fireworks coming. I mean, we've already had ridiculous amount of action so far it's from the get-go yeah, from the first crazy. hand if you just joined us now honestly if you go from the first hand you'll see fireworks pure one outers all in stand-up games you name it oh we've got a sweat here we don't know what warbs are. oh oh warbs wow is three bet and ants jam the sevens you know, and, and how much is that, oh, Jan? Really. I'll tell you what, I've just seen two seven. Old, so. Sorry, that, sorry. Uh, we can't see what Warps has here. here. Ah, this is interesting. Though. We don't know what kind of shape he's in against the sevens. I think Warps will probably be calling this because of the size of the jam. What's he made? Does it look too about it it's not a snap call could be an ace 10 again Ant. i'm say, i'm gonna say i'm gonna say ace 10 or ace jack. very happy with his jam i'm gonna say ace 10 or ace jack just just while um they're thinking here uh please be sure to come down to dust till dawn there's some great things going on on sunday we've got a massive satellite here from the irish open there's currently a DTD 100 in progress. You can still play day one tomorrow. And as we're talking, Warbs has folded. Has he shown? Uh, uh, Warbs has folded. Yeah, Warbs has folded. I think he showed one of his cards at least. Um, so, yeah. Come down to Just Till Dawn over the weekend. There's plenty going on and we'd love to see you here because myself and Antonius are always here. Yep. Ten packages guaranteed for the Irish Open this Sunday at Dust Till Dawn, people. It's a 60 pound buy in plus two optional reloads. So imagine you can win a 1500 pound package to go to Ireland and play the main event from 60 pounds effectively. Fantastic. So make sure you get yourselves down here for that. You get 1100 pound seat for the main and 500 pounds expenses. So excellent value. Yeah. Irish Open always makes chunks of money. And uh, before that, we've got the WSOP circuit here. So plenty to be won. Plenty of big prize pools and events and uh, chances at glory. You've got 11 ring events here at Dust Till Dawn. And they all vary. Stuff like six maxes, obviously the main event. You've got a seniors event ladies event plo event so make sure you get yourselves down here for that i'll certainly be playing them so uh yeah and uh, obviously uh, uh the winner of each event will get a uh, championship world series ring to go with the money obviously which uh, puts you into the tournament of champions so we've got a few pairs here, Ant, but nothing really working on the flop. Joe's flop top pair here on the on the double paired board. Uh, there is a straight move for Vinny. AJ with the king as well. Yeah, Vinny will not be going anywhere here with his queen ten. We haven't uh, seen any sets, have we? No, we literally haven't. No. I mean, Warbs rivered the full house with the king, but that was all in. Vinny rivered a full house with a nine as well when he played the yeah, streets. Yeah, yeah. Wow. No uh, flop sets. There's Mitch on screen, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who thought that he disappeared. I can confirm he still is here and he does still have a pulse. So stay tuned. Ooh. And instantaneous binkage. Vinny's got a royal flush draw to wow. go with the straight. But it's just unfortunate that he can't really get any more action. It's texture. Yeah, it's gonna. I can see a bet coming from Vinny. Yep. <laughs> Things have gone rather swimmingly for Vinny so far, haven't they? I would say so, yeah. 
he has a. Uh, remember, he did double up Mitch, so he has dropped from. Yes, he's had. Yeah, you're right. Forty-five k to thirty-six, but. Yeah. That's what it takes Joe. to uh, to stop the gravy train. Uh, a a certain Mitch Johnson. Yeah, mop up the fucking leftovers of the bread. That's the one, isn't it? AJ looking like he doesn't really want to get rid of this King 5. And I mean, I think this is uh, Vinny's image just gets into people's heads. I know that it's certainly happened to me when I played him. AJ's for sure. talking himself out of it, yeah. Yeah, he shows the King, gets rid of it. Press the bell. I wouldn't show this if I was Vinny. Keep guessing. Ah, uh, look, uh, Wolves <laughs> encouraging him to ring the bell. They're, trying to, they're using all the, the dark arts to try and get him to show, but I think Vinny's going to show something yeah he has wow. did you have a cub with it as well i had uh not nice nice cubs i think You're in bad shape fucking hell dodged a bullet then didn't i really then we moved on man can we fucking any two <laughs> i might have done the raising i'm not folding now what about all in yeah in i line. can see I'm not by the end of tonight people Printer. There will be another Carl Shaw and Vinny clash. Yeah. Oh, Carl's so out straight. for blood. No, you ain't got flush. Vinny's flying. You ain't got flush. And uh, so they're both sat up. very deep. I think at the moment, as well in the game, oh, um, Jagger and Mitch are struggling action. a little bit for distribution. And uh, they are usually, you know, really formidable participants in the game. They like to three bet. They like to play pre-flop a lot. Yeah. Uh, but they're struggling at the minute. They're a little bit handcuffed, Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah. think we will at some point see those two come to the fore. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mitch likes his ace-10, doesn't he? Is he just... Uh, is he... Is he raised Warbs? Yeah, he's three bet. I think Warbs is going to relinquish this hand. I think he knows that Mitch has been um, playing quite It snug. depends. If Vinny calls, I can see Warbs calling. He's out of position, right, Warbs? To Mitch. To Mitch, yeah, I think yeah. he is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, instant, yeah. instant. Because I think if Vinny calls, Warbs might yeah. uh, likely call. But then again, Mitch has yeah, played... No one else wants it. I'll have it. Two, three yeah, hands. Yeah. This is what I work. mean as well. You, you have to, when you're playing at a top level, you have to be able to notice these things. I think usually yeah. if Mitch was playing a lot of no, pots, I, I think that would be a pretty standard call there from yeah. Warbs. But he knows no, that Mitch has been playing a little bit slow, not really got out of line much. And, uh, and that's why he just chose to instant fold the ace down. Yeah. Have you noticed Carl moved the bluff bell next to him? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, you could have eight, six or something. Smelly little straight, yeah, I could have some smelly little straight. I just want to give a little uh, shout out to Rajdiri, <laughs> a regular Stinky. on the poker scene. Stinky I haven't seen straight. him for a while and I saw him today looking really good. And he's here playing the DTD 100. Even he's come out for the value one. So, uh, big shout out to Rajdiri and um, I hope we can see you guys down here for, for yep. this DTD 100. Get yourselves down, day one tomorrow, people. Day two, you're in the money on Sunday, so definitely a lot of value there. Oh, we've got Joe with Kings here. I think, um, I mean, I don't want to go out on too much of a limb, but I think Joe's going to play this. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Vinny's playing it. Seven, has six, Warbs raised here? I think Warbs has taken off with the Ducey of clubs. He has. Yeah. He's three yeah. back to 1k. And this is music to Joe's ears now. And I would also wow. like to point out, and I think the opposite is true of the last time that we saw with Mitch. I think Warbs is going no, after no. Joe here just what? because he's been playing so snug. Yeah. Everyone gets early he's going to get the bad news instantly. The Rue uh, ever making that decision. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, everyone can't keep letting him make, let him make a bag every and not do anything about it. Got to hand it to Warbs. He was heads up against John Juwanda in EPT Barcelona years ago. That was brilliant. They made a deal. Can you imagine playing heads up in the biggest tournament of your life? A legend like that. That's how people must feel like when they when they're playing against me. Oh, I don't doubt it. One bit. Oh, Ali, are you? 
Yeah, he got born out the carpet near the crash. Start now or wait for next dealer. There is hope for me. Don't worry, mate. You're a, you're a champion here at Dust Till Dawn. Don't forget that. Won a big major tournament here. He ain't getting a to have won big tournaments here at our home club. Yeah, definitely. It's a nice experience. Nice experience. Shame it feels so long ago. <laughs> well, that's I've been playing me today as well. So got there. It's going to be a big up. It's such a beautiful. I know it's a. I, I, do, I do wonder what hands. Vinny does fall free. I am. That's why we love him. You know, yeah, he's making yeah, so a name. This is what I love about Vinny, though. You've seen him lose. You've seen him win. You've seen him even. He's yeah. the same person. That's smiling why and happy. Popularity is growing. You know, yeah. because he, he's good in the game. Give that church. He's a good loser, a good winner. Talk and, about uh, a brick flop, though. Um, nine and ten three. You have some potential here. Mm. Yep. As I said, that the queen jack gets. Up draws there. Jagger having a crack at it. I going to be getting up by AJ here. Check, 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 check. Very competent player. We might take a stab at it. Yeah. And things are not really working out for Jagger at the minute. And no. He's, uh, he's also another one who's reloaded for quite an amount, as you can see his uh, chip graphic there. What's Vinny doing here, Ryan? Um He looks very purposeful. Hey? No. Eh? Oh, that's the body language. I of think a ball maybe now. he was looking for the fluff bell. Is he gonna pound it 5K? That's full high. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Like yeah. I said, you're joined on the stream by myself, Ali <laughs> Ayub. Yeah, and uh, the Grand Prix winning champion, Antonio Samuels. I'm sure you're enjoying it. Please send us your questions and your comments on the uh, stream yeah. and the chat. And also subscribe to, to the DTD Live uh, page. Give us a like on YouTube and everywhere you can, people. Yeah, Come I mean, on. DTD Live go through a lot of trouble and a lot of effort to give you class action like this. I mean, we, we don't want to be ungallant, but... If you have a look at the other streams that are available, the action, the characters and the production value that you get here, it's just in a different stratosphere. So please, we appreciate you. Show us your support. Uh, give us a like. Follow the page on YouTube and send you'll us your get, questions and comments in. You get really all the updates it. on what's coming up. And you've got uh, streams like the tournament streams of the World Series circuit coming here. You'll be able to watch the tape. Uh, final table and things like that so plenty of content coming yep. so get onto the DTT player uh, and you will be able to watch amazing content that's got an incredible production value and really if we're being complete it's worth the price of admission just for us yeah so i don't know what's going on here so yeah we would really appreciate your support we're trying to build this game into one of the biggest games in the uk uh, and then further afield, and uh, we really do appreciate you guys being if, with us. If this ain't action enough for you people, I don't know what is. But there is money flying around left, right, and centre here from a lot of heroes. And right now on this game, Vinny is the biggest winner at the moment, but I won't say for the game because anything can happen. There's a long here. way to go. Anything can happen. 
and we've had the biggest part of the uh, of the night so far is which 45.8 is... k wow what do you reckon chat do you reckon that's going to hold let us know do you reckon 45.8 k is going to hold i've got a sneaking suspicion that it won't Yeah, if any of you are interested in actually playing these games against these uh, absolute world worldy players, you can get in contact with Dust Till Dawn. I believe it's Ryan Brodsky you have to message to uh, see if you can try and get a seat and uh, get yourself on stream and have two donuts like me and Ali uh, talk about here. Yeah, should pay an extra for that. We can oh, yeah. see here Vinny's in, involved in a pot. Um, AJ's just drilled the, uh, the ace, which fortunately for him has given Vinny a gut shot, which means that he will continue. Uh, and a four would be a complete disaster here for, for AJ. Or a three. That, however, or not that. Is, uh, Vinny might still think he's winning. What'd you go for? Four point five in the pot. AK behind. Yeah. Consider that the flush draw's got there as well. I know it's a double paid board, but three K. Uh, if I'd go three K, but I think uh, he's going to go smaller. I think I'm probably. I don't think he's going to go that big, but I'd probably go like two and a half K himself as well. I'm, I think AJ might go smaller here because he's got so much of the board, it's hard. Oh, but I think you've nailed it. And that looks like a 3k. And that looks like exactly what our champion predicted. Oh no, 2.8. Still, it's, 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 uh, it's near or near about sizing wise. And now, nobody who's a regular watcher of the stream would be surprised to see Vinny call here. Uh, Robert, his brother's going to buy you in. Ask him. Yeah, let us know how you get on. Yeah. Vinny here, pained again. Vinny might five deuce of hearts. Eight it. You got deuce of hearts? Five deuce of hearts. Stop the bow and then it'll become that one out. <laughs> yeah, then AJ gets uh... yeah, there. <laughs> I do want to see Jagger revitalise nice himself though. I really like Jagger. It's still early. Still yeah. early. Oh, you had a flush? Yeah. I've turned the flush in there. You had a flush. <laughs> you had a flush. You had a flush. Yeah, it's fucking hell. You're holding it down. Oh, it's more fluff, bro. You just have a flush down, really. Yeah, true. Try getting Vinny to fall a deuce in there. <laughs> 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 Ashley <laughs> said, Can Ali play <laughs> the stakes? <laughs> Be good to see you again on stream. He must miss your. Quality street uh, shirts that you wear. Thank you very, very much. Actually, very much appreciated. Um, I think this game might be a little bit big for me. I've got to be honest. Um, maybe 10:25, I, I could play comfortably. But I do miss playing. I did say to myself I was going to take a little bit of a break, not because I was losing or anything like that, which I wasn't. But I just, when I came back from Vegas, I was a little bit burnt out. We spent a lot of time there, 40 days and 40 nights almost a biblical amount of time but yes i will be making my foray back into the streaming um uh, forte again and i'm looking forward to playing so thank you very much you will see me and my shirts uh, again very soon but this stakes probably a little bit too high for me yeah. well, just between three people there's uh, 120k Joe absolutely nailing this. I mean, I think Joe's one of those guys who's played slow and steady and, and he's been fortunate enough to that, like literally nail every single board that he's come into. Yeah, he went off to a bad start, if you remember, but then uh, he's progressively it's gone better and better. Yeah, he's doing well. He's on a gradual upward curve, which is what all of us really want when we're playing. Don't worry, Ali. I'll start a GoFundMe page for you to play this game. Yeah, we'll start one for me to pay my electricity bill first. <laughs> And then we'll move on to the uh, poker. I'm sure but yeah, people um, are missing uh, every time you came on stream. Uh, there was another button undone. 
Yeah. On the t -shirt. I mean, what can I do? I'm a sucker for for being a, a people pleaser. I was getting so many females messaging me saying, "Just don't do one more button for us." I had to just, you know, I'm a nice guy. I've got to, I've got to, I've got to do what they say. Didn't work out for you against Vinny though, did it? No, it didn't. I was a 97% favourite on the flop against Vinny and managed to lose a 9k flop. Yeah. Have I mentioned that? Right? No, 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 no. You've mentioned it several times. Oh. Thank you. I'm sure we can uh, write it on the chat or something again. A beautiful Ali lost, uh, hand a beautiful hand pot that he was 97%. And even though he's in trouble against uh, Jagger here, uh, it's such a beautiful hand to play in here. <laughs> Carl in here as well. Oh no, has Carl folded the falls? That can't be right. Surely Carl hasn't folded a pair of falls here to one three bet. Wow, Carl decided not to set mine against Mitch and Jagger here. And That's a right. pretty decent flop for Mitch. He's got a pair and a gut shot. Jagger also qualifying. Uh, yeah. That's uh, that's the Mitch we know and love. Yeah. Although, Jagger's still got out. Yeah, but Jagger's going to really hate that turn. Plenty of outs. <laughs> so it went check, check on the flop, and now Mitch has checked again here. I think Jagger might fire a little bet, which is going to probably get called quite quickly. Did uh, was Jagger the three better? Yeah, so I, I think we don't have many nines in our range. There, the only hand that we can really fight like is Ace King, really. I mean, it's a good turn for Mitch, but at the same time, yeah. it's pretty grim. I think if the river breaks, we're just going to see a check call again from Mitch here. He's not going to try and inflate the pot unless he moves to a house. Um, there are some calls that he won't want to see. And that is one of them. Yep. So now we're straight on the board, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen. Mitch uh, was tanking along What's nicely. What's the famous in saying? He who dares yeah. wins. Well, I think uh, Jagger's range is more king heavy here. So he might decide to take a stab. And I think depending on the size that Mitch might fall. Ooh, 5k. He's gone big. We've al already seen Mitch make a hero call, but this one is going straight into the dustbin. Ooh. And well played Jagger. <laughs> oh, he rings the bell. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's what we like to see. Poor Mitch. Oh, the pain, the pain. That would have done it. And Jagger's got his nice. thing in the yeah, Jagger. Some colour returns. Maybe, maybe this is uh, the boost he needs. The confident boost. <laughs> what do you need? Sometimes that's all it nice takes. Yep. Yeah. When you're running bad or you're getting poor distribution, <laughs> one hand <laughs> like that can set you off again. You've got to start somewhere, yeah. haven't you? The upswing has got to start That'd somewhere. Be some that would. No. Have you ever seen Mitch tilt while play poker? Yeah, I was hoping. I have. <laughs> I don't want to expose him too much, but what I will say is that they needed a new deck of cards. <laughs> So that's all I'm prepared to say on the matter. Um, that's probably in a cash game. I've never seen him tilt in like tournaments. Well, if we're being completely honest, he doesn't really uh, have any reason to tilt usually, does he? That's true. He has won the last two tournaments here at Dustin so yeah, yeah. I do... Uh, what a silly question by me. So, Ooh. again, some, some hands working here. Mitch sort of Ace getting some lines uh, in the mix. And deciding to three bet again here, Mitch, against AJ. He's soon going to get the bad news here. Um, but these guys are quite deep, and 12k and 17k, so I can't imagine this going in pre. I think we might see a four bet from AJ here, uh, knowing what I know of him. He's not really going to want to play post swap here, I think. I think he's either going to jam or just call. I don't think he's going to. Click it. Yeah, it's called. I'm keeping playing, Mitch. Sorry, just so. Yeah, I guess. 
3k less than last time. I think we had. Yes. I think we had. Yes. I think we had. Yes. Come on, I'm dusting. Yes. Vinny with the ace three off. When you're winning, you can't make jokes like that. He looks like he's coming in for the ride. Do you agree, Wobbs? Well, as you can see from the percentage, Vinny, I beg your pardon, in really bad shape here. But. The flop is a yeah, wilderness a of uh, horrors, and we've seen the bad beats come yeah. again and again and again. The way uh, Vinny's when, running, I won't be surprised to see the ace three flop here. Or just oh, all yeah. hearts. Nice, nice. How long are you there for? Oh! What, what was yeah. I saying, ladies and gentlemen? What yep. was I saying? When you're running good and the gods are with you, they are with you, and Vinny is on the precipice of wiping out AJ in this hand. Wow. Was it like an hour from Thank you so much, Drum Smile, for your kind words. The production value is incredible, and we just have to thank Just Till Dawn um, for that, for making a huge investment. The DTD live team, Rachel and her team, yep. Glenn, Derek, Derek, everyone from the team. I mean, look at the quality of what you're watching here. This thank you very much for your comments. And now, straight back to the action, and uh, I mean, AJ has just moved all in. Uh, after Mitch Seabet yep. and the uh, chip comes flying in and Vinny um, go. is going to be the administrator of the bad news to AJ because no, unless it comes a king go, or a five we uh, are going to see £20,000 going over to Vinny. AJ uh, looks disgusted. He needs a king or a five, AJ does. He's watching on as he's been doing for most of the day actually. Mm. An eight doesn't help anybody. So AJ is going to need an eight, a five, or a king, or he's going to be felted. And it's a four, That's and another wow. huge pot Vinny going over has to Vinny. Felted AJ. Yep, that's the second player he's felted today, I think. It might even be the third. And like we said, Vinny is dangerous when he's in this kind of form. Yep. That's, that's unlucky for yeah. AJ, man. Yeah, and I think, and when we were talking about pre-flop, I think if he would have four bet there, obviously we don't want to be results orientated, but against a three bet from Mitch, who's played quite snug, you've got a really, really good hand. You know, in a cash game, surely you should be thinking, you know, let's get as much money as we can in the pot here. But now he's allowed Vinny to come in, and um, and it's cost him. Yep. I mean, we're looking at this shot here, Ryan. I, I don't want to be overly ingratiating. Even the chips and the plaques are beautiful here at the Still Dawn, aren't they? I mean, look at this. Plaques at the Still Dawn are definitely the best plaques I've ever seen. I went to one casino in England, which will remain nameless. The chips look like dog biscuits. I didn't know what was going on. Protecting your kids, oh. yeah. Hey. Oh. Wow. Can't get bored again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, incredible, incredible to see Vinny building another uh, uh, wing to his <coughs> towers that he's been making. Are you 100 AJ on it? Well, that just makes the l potential pot between Vinny and Carl just even bigger now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's on you, Vinny. Yeah. And again, ladies and gentlemen, let me point you in the direction of where all this, this content is, is emanating from. It's the DTD player. That is the one. Um, and uh, if you can go onto YouTube and subscribe, you will get notifications to when the games are happening. We stream on cash games and we also stream on tournaments. And you'll be able to follow mine and Antonius's commentary and our journey through the different games that we do and uh, like I said we're really grateful for your support so drop a like on the video and subscribe yeah you'll learn a lot from me and Ali so Warbs in now with a very very playable hand and Joe deciding to three bet the six seven hand. oh yes a little That's bit out like of character see. from that what we've what seen I, like to see, but I don't see Carl getting away from this um, I think Warburton now is just considering what happened last time. He decided calling. to call now. Call ain't going nowhere. I doubt it very much. 
I'm not used to seeing pots without Vinny in them. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you. Something for everybody, and I've got shot, a pay, and top pay. Carl's got nothing. He's got a 7 5, hasn't he? Oh, that's all right. Yeah. So, yeah, so something working for everybody here on this flop. And uh, this, this is, is one good. of those if Carl hits the gutter, he's getting paid. Yeah. Hey, what are these? Yeah, Saw so Carl yeah. decide to take a very aggressive line, line when he had a similar hand. <laughs> Jack Knight, um, <laughs> the alcohol gets passed around. Deciding to flat this time, uh, maybe to keep um, Joe in the hand as well. Yep. Yeah, get the stand up game on. That's Nothing no use to him. <laughs> Warbs is still going to feel quite comfortable about his hand here. Rachel said, random question Do the chips get cleaned? If so, how? I've always wondered. Yeah, well, I think there is a machine that cleans the chips. Um, I know, I know they do get cleaned. They do get cleaned, obviously, um, post-COVID. tell you how. Yeah, post-COVID, obviously, cleanliness and everything like that. <laughs> so they do again. get cleaned. I think there is a machine that cleans them. Uh, but don't quote me on it. But I do know that they do get cleaned regularly. And another brick hand, unfortunately, here. Mm, yeah. So I think it's probably uh, Warbs might value bet this now, now that it's been checked to again. Um, personally, I would be inclined to make it about 2.2k here um, to maybe get a crime ball from some worse aces or maybe a queen x, a queen x of spades. So I can imagine that Ward is probably going to value bet this uh, for at least 2,000. It just feels sick if Carl three bets you though, wouldn't it? I think that's what he's considering. Uh, and this is what Paul does to players. He sort of makes them doubt themselves because this is a pretty standard value bet on the river on this text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think the call show factor, even with a player who's accomplished as Warburton, and How he has gone you... for about 2k. Okay. I said 2k, he looks like he's gone for about 2.5. Oh, well, the. Uh, oh, Carl's folded, so. Yeah. Uh, and I think Joe what we've seen from Joe. We haven't seen the propensity to uh, hero call, so I think it's probably going to you know, gesticulate for a while and fold this hand. Um, but yeah, I like uh, Walter's bet. I think it would have been, not to use a term that's too strong, I think it would have been criminal for him not to value bet that day on that run out. So, bet 2.5, Joe's playing 9.4. Probably just going through all the combinations in his hands of what he can be. Maybe the fish flush draws. There is a, a straight draw that's completed, a four-five. Um, but I don't know. Nice pot for Warbs. Played the hand really well as well. Yeah. For the big end then. No, I had a six. <laughs> king, king six. Uh, he sat with over fifty thousand. Pounds in front of him. He has absolutely <laughs> destroyed <laughs> souls at this table. I still got a feeling, Antonius, that we're going to get a bigger pot of 45k. You know. yeah. I've sort of got an, an inkling. A AJ's ran bad against Vinny. Yeah. He's been felted by him twice. He can destroy you, man. He can. He's got that style where it's very difficult to put him on a range. Um, his bet sizing is unorthodox, you know, he'll play any hand from any position. And when he picks up a head of steam, yeah. he can become a real real problem. Yeah. Because this is a really formidable lineup hand that he's playing in. Yeah. And obviously he's running wow. well. Talent talent of the UK. Yeah. You can see that enormous screen behind the players here. I don't it's, think the uh, scale uh, is justified when you watch it on TV. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you've got to come down to Dust Till Dawn and check this setup out. It's like nothing that I've ever seen before, especially. Come on then, chat. Tell us if we could have a guest star in the commentary booth to join me and Antonius, who would it be? Who would you want to listen to dissecting hands? 
who do you think's got a bit of personality and a bit of charisma that could maybe be a little bit funny? Let us know in the chat who you'd like to join the two titans of the game, me and Antonius, in the commentary booth. Uh, and we'll see what we can do. I'm not going to look, so I'm going to see if he wants to do the bet. I'd be interested to hear these. Let's see what people say. Yeah. Oh, PLO oh, flip yes, time. The and dealer changer. The graphics PLO are coming up. Flip. Jack Tenney, is that a nuts? Well, last time they did this, AJ just flops yeah, everyone dead. Time, but but know, at least it was want, nice and to, it's to show everybody the uh, squads. The rest uh, was bad bad absolutely bad. wank. Oh, well, we know Anne's got a uh, 4 5 six. What do you mean? Uh, Robert Lane coming oh, in yeah. saying Sam Trickett. Sam oh, Trickett's yes. actually a very good friend of ours. Nice. Um, such a lovely human being, a great player, and really, really insightful. And I'm sure that if Sam was ever around in Nottingham, because he doesn't live in the country, that he would more than happy to join him. What a great relationship with him and his lovely wife, Mika. So, um, so yeah, Sam Trickett's a great shout, mate. We've got Rachel, who said Luke Schwartz. Yeah, I think there might be a bit of a, an ego standoff between me and Luke Schwartz. Yeah. I'll definitely sit in the middle of that. I love a good entertainment. Yeah, but it's a good shout, that is, because he's got he's got personality, hasn't he? You know, and that's what you really want. Who's won this flip, Ant? Can we see? Uh, is it Ant again? 4-5? Four, five. Four, five. Let's start wow, carnage that's too... again. Yes. Paul <laughs> Shaw saying, let's start the carnage again. He's absolutely right. We need some carnage. The gaffer Rob. Rob on the commentary with us. That would be fun. Yeah, that that's... Uh, that's uh, that's Rob's more than got possible to do. Loads of stories from his experience. He's been Honestly, playing a long time. You can played... imagine the things he's seen, yeah. played. He's played everywhere. Man. The biggest games in the world. Yeah. On yachts, like you know, he's the international man of mystery. The Tritons, all of that. Rob's played and been everywhere, man. Some good shouts coming from the chat. I like it. Keep yeah, it coming, guys. Yeah, we've got guys. one that says Britney Spears. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. And I think we might have to substitute you when Britney gets here, I'm afraid. Yeah. I think, uh, well, how many times have we said out there, we've done it in again? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got an all-in, Ant. Not playing a stand-up game. <laughs> not shot playing that game uh, Ant, <laughs> not playing that also one. known as Owo, has gone all-in. Oh, no. oh, 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 dear, this is bad news, Ant, because Joe's in stuck up him. I'm saying Joe's got Jack's minimum. How many times? We can't see any cards at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, but we will surely get them soon. Uh, Last week he did it. Last week he did it. Every time I run in, I run in. Oh no, Ant's got jacks. Oh, he's got aces. I told you that Joe would have uh, a jack in him. He's got aces. He absolutely snapped the rest of the money in Ant. So uh, here we go. Uh, he's an 80 20 underdog here, uh, Ant is. And he's up against Joe's aces. 12 K pop. The Ali 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 Are we going to see any sickening cards? Uh, like, wow, How many like, oh, yeah. 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 safe for the aces so far. You've even got the spades covered. He's starting to look a bit sheepish now, Ant. He knows that he's two yeah. cards away from uh, Oblivion. 12.4k goes to Joe. And the insta deuce. And oh. Joe scoops again. Anonymous person has said Wahid Ashraf. It has to be some. Uh, oh, they're running it twice. Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We had this conversation earlier. Yeah. Oh, lucky bro. No, no. Help for Jack. Ant has been felted. You're right, Robert Lane. Schwartz would call me a pigeon. And you're absolutely right. So can uh, Vinny, if he sends you money, can you give him chips? You got, I think Vinny's got some on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Just um. Give him sort, oh, a sort lot of chips. So I don't have to be middle table one, you it. just sort it. Oh, I just took it here, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, just okay. sort it straight to Vinny. Yeah, um, just okay. take his number and sort it. I think uh, Wadey would be quite entertaining on the comms, yeah. don't you think? I mean, Wadey is, is one of those... You'd hear a lot of bad beat stories, I'll give you that. Wadey is one of those characters that everybody in the poker community at all levels know, and that's because he's had such tremendous success over a long period of time. 
He's a one of a kind, and uh, you know you always know when he's in the room. But you know, Wadey's been well. Doing you can well hear him game. anywhere in the room. Yep, he's been doing well at the game, and I'm sure people would like to hear about his insight into the game. Um, so yeah, that's another good shot. I like it. <laughs> Shitty fans, though, didn't you? Yeah, flapped in it. I was folding before that flap hit the, uh, hit the belt. Again, we've got a few yeah, playable yeah, hands here around the Jack 10, the Queen 9, the Ace Jack, and the Queen 7 suited. But well, unfortunately, Jaggers we've just had ripped this flop. A flop full of napkins, so there's nothing for anybody here to get excited about. Ace high win this? Yep. He wow. who dares wins. You've got eight cards that no one's connected with. <laughs> I was going to absolutely pump it. Pump it and you're amazing. Monkey, five bag. Yeah. Well, nothing to write home about that hand. I really do feed it in my water, you nah, know. I, the, the just I think something the... major is going to happen. I mean, we've already seen, for those of you who are joining us later, we've already seen a £45,000 pot between Carl Shaw and Vinny, where basically Carl went bet, bet, bet with A, and Vinny pulled off with just one pair. Uh, and now the game is very deep and it's getting serious. <laughs> One Good Two shout, four. Robert. Good shout. Barney Boatman. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Newly named Barney Goatman. Yeah. Okay, I'm EBT oh, right. Paris <laughs> champion. I can't believe we haven't mentioned that. Yeah, what a great cool. shout from the chat that is. We have the legendary the well. Barney Boatman, who is the Wait, bottles, latest really EBT again. champion. You know, EBT is the like, most yeah, so toughest like, tournament to play. <laughs> and he's just. Smashed through the entire field to win Incredible 1.2 million euros. I think, and if memory serves, he's the oldest ever EPT winner. Yeah. Incredible achievement. Big shout out to Barney. It's not even just the win, it's just his entire career. He's yeah. a two time World Series bracelet winner. Now he's an EPT champion. Incredible. Really incredible. He just needs a WPT for the Triple Crown. Well, I'm sure it won't be long. <laughs> just want to give a shout out to my friend P, who's watching us. Um, I haven't seen you for a long time, brother. Thanks for tuning in. And we look forward to seeing you soon. P is actually a, a person that I've been played with for a very, very, very long time. We used to play back in Riley's together back in the day. And uh, it'd be nice to see you again soon, P. So thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Rachel said Simon Trumper is actually quite nice to listen to commentating. That's right. Simon's got some achievements under his belt in this game, hasn't he? I remember not that long, a few years ago, he final tabled a World Series uh, PLO event. Yeah, came like third or fourth, if I remember correctly. Just very quickly, and going back to the action, there's a pot developing here. We've got Vinny with an up and down straight, ball. Joe with top top. And uh, AJ you know, had the good shot here. Yeah. But this pot but developed very quickly. Like um, yeah, yeah, the yeah, right pot yeah, yeah. here. I don't really go watch, yeah. back and watch them, but like, what is this? Vinny looks for a king here or an eight. Go to the full six hour stream. AJ looks for the nine. I can't see Vinny holding for any amount. Rainbow, flop, fade and I'm not sat at home watching like fucking. He did decide to get the good shot. Yeah. I just skip through it. That's what that's what that's what. Obviously. Yeah, I'm a fan. Have you got have you got YouTube Premium? Yeah, yeah. It's easy though. Yeah, YouTube Premium is boss. I used to have it before tonight. I don't think jokes very good And there it is. When your form is in, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> your form and a <laughs> lovely we'll check back there. I'm not joking. Is he gonna? Uh, is he gonna be greedy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think against Vinny, you have to. 
Oh, he's cheering. Wow. wow. He smelt the rats. And Vinny looked apoplectic. He can't believe he hasn't extracted some value there. Yeah, yeah. But we have to give credit to Joe there, and he probably recognised that kind of that king the... probably hit a lot of Vinny's range and decided to check back. Yeah. And he saved himself nitty, not only in a couple of spots, anyway. probably about 2,000 2, you know, pounds. Like could have actually pounds. thought Vinny might have had a worse jack. Yeah. Yeah. Vinny, and how did he find the king was <laughs> Who's this crushing you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> got some spider sense. Rob Clock, there's Phil Clock. No, come on, Rob. We have to have people with at least some personality. This is, uh, well, if you think about it, the World Series is coming in like a couple of weeks here at Just Still Dawn, right? Yeah. Uh, and this should make everyone want to play this event. Phil will be contributing to every prize pool he can. Yeah. Generously, he's an equal opportunities contributor, Phil Clark. Yeah, that's why we love him. So that is more than any reason to come to the World Absolutely. Series. Yeah. I'm sure he's watching us from his dungeon somewhere. So <laughs> Phil Clark, if you're out there, ooh, we've got aces for Carl. He's been waiting for this sound, but is he going to get any action? What's Vinny got? King nine off. Oh dear. Oh my God. 58.5k stack for Carl and 54.4 for Vinny. That clunk of the chips, of Vinny's chips into the pot will be music to Carl Shaw's ears because he wants to win a huge pot. And Mitch has a nice one as well, man. It's suited. Oh! Oh, wow. I see. Oh, wow. The one hand we forgot to even mention. Yeah. AJ with the sevens. Good God. Yeah. Wow. And Carl's in big trouble here. Because if it spades. comes a spade or an ace, this is yeah. going to be absolute well, carnage. Well, Vinny's got a king of spades as well. Wow. He might stick around as well. What do you do here? I just have to flat ball, right? Oh, There's yeah. no messing around here. Wow. This is the second time that AJ's flopped quads. Once in the bomb pot and once live. Now it's uh, holding game. Yeah, he won that flip with quad nines, didn't he? There are some sick rivers in the deck here. A king, a spade, or an ace. Watch oh, it. no, he's folded. Vinny folded. Too bad. Oh dear. How much is AJ? Yeah, he's doubling AJ up. No, he might fold down. He put 2k in and AJ's playing. For but he knows nine. he can't beat anything here. Yeah. It's... This cannot be a bluff, look, and that's why Carl has an instant fold. He's a player at the top of his game. He knows this. I mean, he might well end up paying it off, but you can see by his body language. He knows that this is def can't yeah. be a bluff. So it's either a flush or a seven. Maybe sometimes pocket fives. I would actually love to see Carl fold. I think it's the hallmark of a great player that is. Got to the, got to the, like you're going like a fancy entrance there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got there, scanned the tickets. Like, come on, red. Waterfall. Yes, Carl. Waterfall. Wow, well played, wow, Carl. Wow, and wow. this is what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching quality here. You've got the best commentary team in the game. You've got the best production team in the game. And you've got some of the best players in the game. So please, again, get onto DTD Player, subscribe, like the video. And we really appreciate you being with us. That was a great yeah. hand of poker to analyze. Renan, help. I, I thought the same thing as well because of the price he was getting, but yeah. he, he, it's just tough. It's just quality. It's just quality. And we were talking about this earlier. I've seen Carl make some epic folds. Yeah. Well. But, you know, he cannot really beat much there. Yeah, it's, it's a really good fold. A lot of times people just get married to aces as well and they think we've got an overpay yeah. to the board, we're good. But in that situation, because of the stack sizes, when he goes all in there, he cannot be bluffing. Mm. You know, it's got to be a house, seven or a fish. All of that that falls. Uh, I was really hoping we'd see some action in that pot between Carl. If it came a king high, we'd have seen some... Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, sure. Wow. AJ flopping quad sevens. I'm not content with that. And back. Yep. Joe has opened up the jack 10 off. Could have gone plus one. The Jagger getting fruity with eight of uh, diamonds. 
2.3. Oh, wow. Am I looking at this correctly, and Does Carl have the 6.3 off? He does. Wow. And he's clicked it to 2.3k. He's going to get it through. <laughs> yeah, Robert's got a spot on, you know. He said we're such a modest commentary team. Modesty's overrated. <laughs> I'm more of a, you know... I like you, to tell the truth. You're a realist, though. Yeah, I'm yeah. a realist. Uh, he's, a... he's got it through with the 6-3. Yeah. There's the car show we know and love. You have to get away from that button. You don't want to lose 1,800. Nah. We need a similar. We'd rather lose 20 bag over. What a last. That's right. He's got to pay everybody. He's got to pay over, what, 2 million <laughs> yeah. in the last yeah. six months. I mean, I've always said, and you know, we've known Carl for a long time, Same and even before his recent su success, I've always said he's got a brilliant playing style, yeah. and he's always going to do well the way he plays. I mean, he's got his current Hender mob stands at just over 3.2 million. Incredible. He's Incredible been to the cash desk and collected 3.2 million in his time. Big time he did. Big time hit and run. Big time hit and run. Nasty. It was always going well. Mainly cash game. Yeah. He said until he put him down. He flopped to set versus me and then said, oh yeah, by the way, this is my last stand. He used to have the nickname Ming Cash Nick. Wow. That name is no longer... Who's Mitch? There's a guy who was sat at the table. Oh, he's still at the oh, table. Oh, he's still here. Oh, yeah, he's here though. Oh, okay. The, uh, Is that Mitch? Is that him? Yeah, that, that's the one. He was the one who was very tired during the stand-up. But he, uh, you know, back-to-back -back wins here at Dust Till Dawn. I'm just uh, scanning the chat. And, uh, somebody put in for a guest star. I think it was Robert, Vicky Foran. That would be brilliant. I love Vicky Forrest. Wow, I'll go east again. Wow. Okay. Has he got any... Uh, he might get some action from the King Queen and the Queen Ten. This could be a significant pot. And Mitch, almost as if by magic, we've woken him up somehow. He's decided to see that the ace three off. And he's going to get the bad news very quickly. Uh, AJ, let's go. The oh, it's so painful. Orders. Yeah, I don't think we... Oh, yeah. Mitch has actually ruined Carl's action with Carl's action here, hasn't he? Yeah. I think Carl might flat. I know Carl likes to play tricky. But I think he might flat and hope that Mitch just barrels off. Oh, four bet. Traffic is a little bit slow. I do apologise, but there is a four bet. Now Mitch has got a decision. It's probably taking into consideration the fact that Paul uh, is losing. Yeah. It hasn't been going his way, and he could be thinking that Paul might be at it here. So, well, all of the I considerations would be are probably thinking head. the same because obviously Mitch hasn't been as active, and again, the fact that Paul's losing. So, I don't know. Maybe Mitch, Mitch could think better of it. Running through all the options in his head right now. I think, considering Mitch's stack size, all the options are available to him here. And he can possibly flat fold, but he's decided to fold and he's made a good fold there. Yeah. Did Carl show the aces there? I saw some cards flying across the table. He may well have shown those. Oh, queen king. Oh, look at that. I get it. Oh, sorry. Call him now. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we are here Friday night poker at Dustin. We've got an exceptional lineup here, and um, the chips have been flying around. For those of you who have just joined us, uh, we've had a forty-five thousand pound pot already. <laughs> 
and um, the night is still young. There's a lot of money on the table, and we have got some candidates playing that do not mind getting their chips in the middle. So um, we're in for a big night. Ah, Mr. Marsh, thank you very much for joining us. Um, I didn't like it when Mr. Marsh used to come into dust because that relegated me to being the second best looking player. But well, I'm glad you're joining us, Mr. Marsh, and um, we miss you and we hope to see you soon. I have to fold the jam on this No fucking around. Oh, won't be surprised to see AJ moving yeah. the rest oh, of his betting discs in with the King King after Warb's three bet the ace jack off. Look Pretty at simple spot. Um, I think because Vinny was the pre prop <laughs> raiser and he knows that Vinny has a propensity to call, that's why he decided to go for all of it. Um, I can't <laughs> And I think that probably Warbs will get out of the way as well. <laughs> you don't want to say that to a man that will call you a fucking 7 eye. Ah, uh, Mr. Harper, yes, it's only one guess. And uh, thank you very much for your kind words, Luke. Hopefully we can see you in the summer and uh, get together and go for a meal. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to see you, mate. Yeah. I'm trying to give it you back. Ah, is that Luke Marsh I see, yeah? My uh, fellow uh, Scunthorpian. <laughs> what a legend. I remember Living a quick the high story. life. Yeah, why are they thinking about this? I remember a story. Um, Luke just recently brought a, a Lamborghini and I didn't know him that well and I went, he was parked outside and I went up to congratulate him and I said, oh mate, is that your car? It's really beautiful, it looks like the Batmobile. He gave me the key. He said, what? Uh, Go inside. I said, I can't drive. <laughs> At that time I couldn't drive. But that's the, the generosity and the open heartedness of the guy. Just give a guy he didn't even know that well the keys to his Lambo. So yeah, uh, what a top bloke, man. He is a top guy. Top, top guy. Get yourself Warbs back the to the UK, here. man. Oh, Vinny's still thinking about calling this up with 4 5. 10k for 4 yeah. 5. Vinny wants to really <laughs> do him again. People crying. And ladies and gentlemen who are watching think, oh, you know, this might be a slow roll of TV time. If you know anything about Vinny, you know this isn't. He's genuinely, He's genuinely considering. I mean, did I tell you that he called my all in with 9 7? Yeah. Did, did I tell you that? I did I tell you that I was 97% on the flop? Mm, I think you might have mentioned I can't it five remember. times I can't now. Remember. Maybe oh. six. Oh. Might as well get it tattooed on you. Uh huh? <laughs> what did you have? I had Ace King of Diamonds Ooh. and it came King I Two Diamonds. I love the way you still explain this. There might be somebody who doesn't know. Look at these stats, ladies and gentlemen. This has got a re recipe for an explosive. Final hour and a half, two hours that we've got here. <laughs> yeah, if you had to take a guess, would you say 45.8k is going to get beaten? I think it's going to get beat. Yeah. I tell you what, this is a good question for the chat because we all play poker and we all know that there's certain people that just run better than others, right? If you had somebody that had to win a flip for you oh, yeah, for your life oh, yeah, you who would you want sat there oh, taking that flip on that's what we want to know chat who is the look box of your lifetime that's what we want to know i know who my choice would be but i'll reveal that later so you've got one flip for your life who do you want taking it That is an interesting question. I'm not even gonna. I might even have to think about that one. Do me in the next hand, yeah? I know who mine is straight away. Yeah. Is that who I think it is? It might be. I don't know what this. Do like two, and then the rest because I just did seven. They blocked it. Now it's like. Kieran said, "Vinny." 
<laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. That is a good shout. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, get your guesses in. We are going to be picking a winner at oh. 11 p.m. Oh, do us a favor, Isaac. You picked Adam Maxwell. What a great shout, though. A renowned look box. Very little talent, but extraordinary abilities to the wrong board. So that, I actually really like that shout. That's a great shout. Colin said Vivi. <laughs> that is a shout in itself. Adam Maxwell, what a good shout. Ah, that's a good one. Scott said Simon Deadman. Oh, Simon Deadman. Simon Deadman, another fantastic player who started his career here at Bristol Dawn and went on to some really, really good things. He's uh, smashed it in the UK, and I believe he's currently living out in Vegas at the moment. Uh, Kieran, the guess is for the biggest pot of the night. You've got up until 11 o'clock to uh, submit your guess and your formerly known as Twitter handle here in the chat. And uh, someone will win a seat. Garbage it's 200 and 230 pound seat. 230 pound seat. Should we redeem here at Bristol Dawn? For the uh, WSOP circuit. He's studying mid game. That, 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 that's actually one of my favourite shouts. Jamie Gold. Oh, yeah. What is we saw him, didn't we, in, uh, in Vegas? Yeah. The legend. Back. Slight uh, problem with the sound. Uh, we've got our IT geniuses working round the clock to get that sorted out. So um, we'll get that critter that's found its way into the system sorted out as soon as we can. Could have saved me fucking. Get back to this hand here, right? Um, three players with a pair. Did you? 
fold it. Had a ten. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a ten? Fuck oh, off, seriously. Folded a ten, didn't it? That's insane. Carl, what did I fold? Wow. He don't fire tonight. It was a good tennis. It was a yeah, fucking great tennis. Good, good kicker with the 10. Queen 10. The Queen 10. Yeah, the good Because I've been playing knee tonight. I've got a good image now. I thought you might drop the 10. Now, now Jagger knows you're pulling top pairs, though. Yeah, all in. <laughs> don't, don't worry, mate. Don't worry. If you win the small ones, we're going to play it for stacks. Don't fucking worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that I give you a bit. It will make it hurt even more when you lose a lot. Wish I could see higher than eight. <laughs> Nasty that. <laughs> I'll need another one of these. It'll hurt less. <laughs> oh god. Good fold. Hey. Uh, apologies for the uh, audio problems we've had there, people. I that hope you've uh, got it fixed now. Sorry about that. You know, with kinds of technology, there's always a little bit of a fix. <laughs> 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 So welcome back, and uh, just to recap, we do have the competition for the seat entries. Your last entries are in by 11 o'clock. It's one uh, guest per person for the largest part of the night. This stream will finish at 12, but the last entries are for 11. So make sure you put your guesses in and your Twitter handle. For me. Yeah, we'll be looking to announce the winner uh, at about 11.45. So between then and 12. Uh, and like I said, we're back. We had a few critters. Um, and you're joined by myself, Ali Ayub, and Antonio Samuels here for Friday Night Poker at Just Till Dawn. We thank you for your patience. We thank you for being with us. Please subscribe on YouTube to DTD Player. You'll get all the uh, the info um, of when the streams are happening, when we're commentating, when we're doing the tournament final tables. Uh, and like I said, we appreciate you uh, having you with us on this uh, Friday night. We've had a game full of action today, people. And when I mean action, I mean from the very first hand. Yeah, it's been crazy. We've had multiple 20k plus parts we've had a 45,000 pound pot chips are flying people are putting money in with all sorts of hands from all sorts of positions it's been great we've got a lot of characters a lot of personalities and um, Mitch is also playing as well yeah good old Mitch and uh, we have Jagger Carl Shaw, Vinny, Steve Warburton, Joe, and 
Ant to uh, join Mitch on this table. Yep, great line Like I said, it has been full of action today from the get go. So we are still. Uh, we've got Vinny and Carl who are sat super deep right now. Carl reloaded for a, a lot after getting snap called by Vinny in a 45k pop. Yeah, I mean, if you're just joining us, I would really encourage you guys to watch this stream back because that hand was such a brilliant hand to observe and commentate on. The way that Carl went for three bullets, the, the immediacy with which uh, Vinny called a 19,000 jam on the river. When there was a flush out there, it was a brilliant pot to behold and I would encourage you guys to watch it back. Yeah, for... The for those watching, the yellow dot next to the names is actually to indicate those who are still involved in the stand-up game. As you, if you've been watching from the beginning, you'll see that they all started literally playing the stand-up game. I think now the yellow dot means that they're Jago still in the pot. Lost. Yeah, I think it means they're still in the pot. Robert said, can we get a player in seat one now, please? <laughs> yes. We love it, Robert. Well said. It's okay. We'll make sure that he's not invited again. Well, Wolves hasn't been uh, running great today, has he? No. No. Neither has uh, Jagger, for that matter. Yeah, I think it just hasn't been Jagger's night tonight. And he's really not been in, had any spots where he could realise any equity. He hasn't yeah. really had great distribution. <laughs> a lot of the action has been happening in front of him. Sort of one of those bad uh, bad sessions at the moment, but there's still time and there is plenty of money on the table. Get involved, ladies and gentlemen. Um, while they're dealing this hand, get involved. Come down to Dust Till Dawn to take part in the DTD 100. Um, day they one to still be played tomorrow at 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. We've also got the WSOP circuit events coming up soon at Just Till Dawn. And on Sunday, from 2 p.m. onwards, uh, Just Till Dawn are holding a satellite for the Irish Open. Um, with 10, 1,500 pound packages available. So there's so much that's going on down here. Please come. We'd love to have you and love to accommodate you. Uh, it's a great place to play, as I'm sure you know. And um, the value is here. So please come and join me and Ant. It's going to be a good few weeks <laughs> here at Dustal Dawn. I don't think you folded any pair on the Looking forward to this Irish Open good satellite as well. Ten packages, people. Ten uh, packages for the Irish Open. And that includes your main event seat and £500 worth of expenses. So uh, that is on Sunday and it starts at 2pm. Two optional reloads. Because I didn't want to lose 1400. I think uh, Mitch is actually in a pot here right, with the ace two suited. Uh, he's dominated by Joe. And the last three hands I've got a lot of su some suited hands three, working five, here. The clubs so. are dominated, so it'd be interesting to see if there were some clubs on the flop here. And coming some in with the nice hands here. Yeah, with the king deuce. I'm in desperation. And Again, nothing really too exciting. Vinny has really from. flopped the best. Well, Carl. It's well, Joe's got ace ten, right? Yeah. So there could be some uh, backdoor flushes as well. Yeah. Well, Carl certainly won't be going anywhere here. Vinny coming along as well with the up and down draw. Good luck, Carl, Joe, and Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> So it's 400 to go. <laughs> oh, and Vinny just and drills just, it. That has been the story away. of the night, hasn't it? I, I find myself saying the same thing yep. again. Vinny has drilled in. Instantaneous binkage. I can't imagine there's going to be uh, the only person who might stick around is Joe. 
Jones being a little bit on the cautious side. Remember him he checking has, back uh, that hand against he Vinny. Has, uh, his spidey senses have been working today. Yeah, but they're not working here because he's drawing dead. Yeah. And that is a card which means he's most likely going to have to call the river bet now. And if I was Vinny, knowing that he checked back last time, I'd probably go a little bit smaller here. I'd probably go about 3k. Uh, oh. oh, he's going, he's going no, bigger. No, he's going for the jugular. He's got but... 4.1. Oh, Joe. Joe's laughing. Yeah. I mean, I suppose if you call on that turn on and you get that river, yeah, you're probably going to convince yourself that you're still good. And this is where, like I say, the Vinny factor comes into it. You just can't place him on a hand or a range. I always notice when someone picks up the one chip, you always think they're just going to throw gonna, it yeah, in. Vinny style. Carl observing up. Even though Carl's not in the hand, look at the way he was watching him there. Carl loves pick something some up. good pain at poker, Such doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> that was the most it was a this is what you call the blender, ladies and gentlemen, and that's where Ro uh, Joe what finds himself. He doesn't know what to do. He you knows who he's up against. He's not sure about his hand. <laughs> oh, and, wow. Uh, so he looked like he was picking the facts up there to go for it. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's see, made Spidey. the right decision Spidey. again. I think uh, yeah. Vinny went too big. You've got to give him credit. <laughs> and he's made the right decision again. <laughs> I think uh, Vinny's hand flicked over inadvertently no, there. Like and the table saw that he actually had the knots. Four chips going over to Vinny. Hunt, the star of the show so far. 54.7k stack. He is having a time of his life right now. Thank you, uh, Nima Shanavar, for your comment. Unfortunately, we it is above our pay grade to comment on whether Dust Till Dawn was franchised to London. If I had to put my very limited bankroll on it, I would probably say no. Um, but there are always things happening uh, around. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if, uh, if you wanted to come for the Dust Till Dawn experience at the moment, it's only in Nottingham. But like I said, uh, we don't know what Rob's going to do, and it's a bit above my pay grade to talk I about it. I highly recommend coming down to Dust Till Dawn. One of the most friendliest atmospheres you'll see in poker. Unless, of course, you're on Ali's table. <laughs> it is the Vinny show today. It really is. What do you think, Harry? It really is. I mean, we called it from early, didn't we? And, like, if he gets above steam, ahead of steam, which he has done. I mean, don't, let's not forget that he's also running very well. Of course. But, yeah. I mean, there'll be a lot of players around the table silently, quietly nicking their lips here, well. just trying to get involved in that no, one big pot yep. with Vinny. Because he's not afraid to put his chips to work on. Right, people. The clock says it's 10.51 p.m. You've got nine minutes to submit your guesses for the biggest pot of the night. And if, for any reason, we don't get a pot bigger than the current winner at the minute, which is 45.8K, then the closest guess to that will win it prior to that pot happening, obviously. And the surprise again is a £230 concede uh, credit here at Still Dawn to My use at the WSOPC hey. um, events which are coming hey. uh, uh, very soon.
Keep them standing. On we go. 5, 10, 25. <laughs> Friday night poker at Dustin yeah, Dawn. No, it's been fantastic so far, hasn't it? Andy? Yep. It's been definitely one of the most fun action games I've seen. Welcome back, uh, Nathan. Hope you had a good time in the gym. Yep, there's some big stacks into you uh, last tuned in, mate. Love to see that, Nathan. Discipline. Tra pulling yourself away from me and Antonius must have been very difficult. But I rate you. You've gone to the gym and done what you needed to do, and now you're back. I like it, mate. Should be proud of yourself. Well done. Either that or he thought lifting weights was better than listening to me and you. I doubt it. I've done a quarter of a ball. Yeah, 10, 25, 50. Did I say something different? It is 10, 25, 50, which is a very juicy game indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Can I get a I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> But Joe, who's flopped up here, here with Queen six off. Carl's not really. Uh, he's, 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 he's not uh, got any connections with many. He's not got going. He? I think him and Jagaran, they just yeah. haven't found any wind in the game. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, when you're playing poker, especially when you're playing a lot, you are going to have sessions like this where you just don't get the distribution. You don't get the spots, you know, your, your table draw might not be great. Yeah, and it's having the mental fortitude to just keep trying to play your best game when it is quiet like it is for a month. Because they've been really quiet. Yeah. And so it's the, not their fault. So you know? usual. I mean, obviously, I mean, we say that Carl was involved in the biggest part of the yeah. night so far. So he's not really found much traction to no, absolutely. go with flops, turns. Things like that. But the beautiful thing is that there's still time. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of time to get involved. Plenty. Do you know anything about the likes of Carl, AJ, Jagger? It can all happen within seconds for these boys. Joe taking down another pot there, and he's climbed his way up to nearly 90,000 now. Uh, he had a bad start, yeah. and then he's been on an upward... Uh, That's right, his graph's looking very healthy. Yeah. Carl's still got the bluff <laughs> bell next to him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Bank the life out of that if Vinny so folds. No that. Like the, the, last, the last two people left in, for every hand that they don't win it, they have to pay an extra each person. Each time, like yeah. Like that sounds okay, yeah. Yeah. Talking about some of the prop yeah, bets now and yeah, trying yeah. to decipher yeah. what they're saying. 25 each person still yeah. what? That's good, yeah. Like, One thing yeah. that. <laughs> so if you're the last two in the next one, every, every hand that you don't win, Ant hasn't uh, had much good luck no. today. Uh, to be fair, the only person who's had the big look is just Vinny. Yeah. I mean, Mitch made sure that he made the obligatory nuts per session in that one hand that he doubled up through Vinny when he made the nut flush. Oh, Ant's got jacks here. He didn't fare very well with him earlier, did he? Mm. Be interesting to see if there's any hands that can offer any resistance to his, his raise, what he's obviously going to make here. <laughs> so Vinny's opened the 9-7. He likes that hand, doesn't he? 9-7. <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> and uh, <laughs> swiftly being three yeah, bet. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to sweat this one card. <clears throat> EJ coming along and with the four three of diamonds. Yeah. Well, Vinny's not going nowhere. Is Carl still in this hand with threes? Yes. If he is, he's got one out. Well, for those who are joined us late, the very first hand of this cash game yeah. session. Don't count, my, don't count my measly bit, mate. I was included. Uh, 104. Rare. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Robert. Joe is building steadily. 
Binning up, stop holding, <laughs> having open connection anyway. Yeah. And uh, we'll see what presents itself. He's actually in brilliant shape here and against the other players. Yeah. He doesn't realise there is a one semblance of an overcard. But we all know what can happen on these boards. Have you, uh, have you spared anyone else's hand? Just Carl. Oh, yeah. Well, Action, what do we want here? 10-8-3. <laughs> oh, AJ is liking this flop. Yep. And that is missed. actually as well as you can possibly flop. He's flopped a flush draw and a gut shot to a very disguised straight. And there it is. There. Double trouble. The flush on the straight. Anyone got a diamond? No. Oh, Vinny has the seven of diamonds. Yep. I mean, I'm sure. Vinny's turned a open ender as well. I'm sure that AJ would have preferred an offsuit five. Is he just going to move it all in? Wow, he's over bet the pot and just moved it all in. Wow. What do you think the thinking is behind this bet? I, I don't. I'm trying to work out what. I mean, maybe he's thinking. The only possible reason he's done that is if someone with the ace of diamonds the bear ace of diamonds yeah he wants them to call off but yeah that's a really really microscopic part of somebody's range isn't it on this yeah, board and he could also just so immediately run into a better flush here <laughs> just be dead nah, I, can't, I can't stop drinking i can't just run this i'm playing the uh, i'm playing the i'm reaching day two of the 1k so i need to I need him to top shape for that. Could also potentially be trying to rep the beer ace of diamonds himself as well. I know a lot of people like to cash game rewarding on the turn with the nut draw. So, called by King, I'm guessing. But it's gone. He's just going to take it down, I think, out here. Carl just messing around like he was going to call there. Uh, <laughs> wow, Ant is really uh, not in some great form. And the river was an ace. Did anybody have an ace? Nobody had an ace. No. Today, no. Vinny had the nine seven. Yeah. Vinny was the only one who could win that. Yeah. With the seven of diamonds. About five times I've jammed on this table. Kings, aces, aces, kings, aces. AJ taking it down. And unfortunately for our... the uh, hands that he's uh, lost and uh, been through, he's not had much uh, luck today. The way I've been running, fucking hell. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, the time has now expired for your guesses. Um, we will have a look through. We'll take a short break just before 12 o'clock to have a quick look through and see who has the best guess um, uh, at the closest time to when it actually happens. <laughs> and then we'll be announcing the winner uh, just before 12 o'clock. So thank you very much for all your guesses. Thank you very much for joining us. And just uh, open ship the ace jack off. Wow, we're getting to that, the home straight now, aren't we? People are looking to get unstuck now. Yeah. This, this is going to be uh, hold on to your hats time for the last hour. Oh, yes. Oh, why do you Vinny, do you like... Vinny, do you like Baby Guinness? I love that. Huh? Um, more often than not, uh, I would say Nathan, they do tend to carry on a bit <laughs> after the stream. <laughs> that should make the highlight real. <laughs> you can see at the bottom of your screen who's winning what right now. Vinny winning almost 50k, Joe is up 13.6. Mitch is winning, and the rest are losing. Carl is currently losing the heaviest, with a loss of 36.3k at the moment. Gob wide open, just swallowing a lot. k Oh, that's a lovely hand there, Ali. Ace Queen of Diamonds for Ant, and he might get some action here he from me. Some action here, Ant. I, I mean, he opened, 
doing? He opened ship last time, so... Yeah. Really? He's made it 1k, and the 7's just immediately folded there. I suppose it looks a bit suspicious when you open to 1k out of that stamp size. From the last time when you just opened yeah. ship. These players won't uh, yeah. let you get away with stuff like that. They're just too uh, yeah. good. And there you can see the stack size is Vinny, 54,000. And I would say that most of that is profit. A huge yeah, chunk of that is profit. At the bottom of your screen, you can see Vinny is winning 49,000. Wow, so he was in for 5k. 5 or 6k. Yeah. Like 7, 6. Yeah. No, it said 54, right? So he's, in for 40, he's winning 49. Oh, wow, so he's yeah. in for 5k, yeah. Wow. Incredible. That is a sick spin up. That's a bit of a session, isn't it? That? <laughs> As you can see, spirit's still high at the table, even though there's so much money on the table. Yep. There's absolute no chunks of money on this table right now, and there's some. Well, three so currently winning. There's only three players winning. One's got the lion's share of the win, being Vinny. Wow. Yeah, just to explain uh, to Matt in the chat, he was talking about the closest time to the hand. The reason I say that is because at the moment we have a huge pot of 45,800. With an hour left, there is a chance that that won't be beaten. So what I was trying to say is that the guesses that were closest to that before that pot happened will obviously be declared the winner. So that's what I was trying to say there. I hope that's uh, cleared it up for you a little bit. Vinny has sat with 5k and he's currently got almost 54k in front of him. And there's still an hour to go. Wow, really? That's just incredible. So here, Joe, um, as the up and down, and Carl here working with the top here. There's already 4K in the pot. I think it went check, check on the flop, and Carl's checked again. Oh, yeah, the hacking thing. Maybe trying scary. to induce um, Joe scary. to have a stab at this. I think Carl well, will be pretty confident that he's got, got the best hand here. Be best and uh, Joe is taking a stab at it, and quite a sizable and insta relinquish from Carl. Where's the bell? Wow. And he has the class not to ring the bell and takes the pot down. And I think that's Joe's image here and uh, yeah, paying dividend definitely. for him. Not been a great night for Carl, has it? No, I think Joe's actually played really well. Yeah, yeah. I've been impressed. He's definitely... Uh, he's got out of some sticky situations. His spidey senses yeah. are definitely working well today. That's right. Are you going to play that tournament? Yeah. Vinny currently the biggest winner of the night so far, but he's still got over 50 minutes worth of action to show you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, for winning, just winning. Now I want final table action where you like. It's not as good as it was like Oh, Vinny's got a lovely hand there. King, Queen of Hearts. Lovely. <clears throat> Estimated I think a million. Jagger will be giving him a spin here with the Jack-10. Hmm? They are hands that can clash quite nice. Uh, I think mean, Jagger can still get himself in a big pot with Vinny as well. Absolutely. Jagger's I'm, stack. I'm sure they're all just waiting. 38.8k. Yeah. So, no, no, no. Yeah. Why rushing uh, what, you want to tell me now or at 12? Yeah. It's interesting to see what Mitch had there because he looked uh, reluctant to, to let go of that one. one. Quite yeah, fruity to get involved in that one, yeah. What's happened here? We on a slight delay because Jagger doesn't have any cards in front of him. Yeah. Uh, that's bad. That's bad, yeah. Well, in his box, you can't see. That's bad. Such well, excuses nice. here, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes it's good. Oh, oh, I see. That's why. And spiled ah. it in with the Kings and Vinny's Insta called, obviously. I see. This is yeah. a big chance for Ant to get back into the game here. Yeah. As you can see, he's a huge favourite. 
so far. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. That, that's it. That's it game over. It. Yeah. it is game that, over. That should do it, yeah. And the first little dent <laughs> in Vinny there. And a, a much needed uh, boost for Ant. Yep. He needed that. That was, uh, like you said, it can give him a bit of lift now. You can have it stacked to it run it up. I've noticed Vinny, Vinny's graph goes up, up, up. Small decline, yeah. like he doubled Mitch up. And then up again. And then up again. I mean, those of you who are joining us, I'm sure you won't uh, argue with the fact that it has been the Vinny show today. But there's still time for some of the other players to find a bit of wind and clash in some big pots here. People like Jagger, people like uh, Paul Schultz, like Mitchell. They haven't they had the hands, have they? The kind, the kind of personalities on this tape. Literally, you can go from losing 30k to winning 50k the next time. Absolutely. Literally oh, anything can happen. Two hearts, I was like, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. If you're running good all night, I know that's gonna come two hearts on the flop. Oh, there is a uh, Wow, Joe's got kings. AJ's got jet nine suited. Lovely hand. It's cold. Vinny's obviously in with the 10 8 off suit. Oh wow, Jagger's got jacks. He's, and now uh, this is what it. we were talking about, ladies and gentlemen. He's clicked it to 1.6k. Joe's going to be absolutely loving this because Jagger's 3 bet is obviously going to thin out the field. Mm. And he can imagine that he's just going to be left heads up with Jagger with the second nuts. Uh, and this is what we all There's dream of. One king and one jack. Gone so oh, the four, four bet has to come 5k in 5k from Joe. This will, will certainly thin out the rest of the. the I must say, players. this is a horrible spot at now for Jagger because Jagger's yeah. actually sitting so deep. Um, I think Joe's got 20k effective, 20.1k. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, even though he doesn't like it, to see him flat this. Obviously, we know that Joe's played quite snug. Yeah. He's probably one of the only players that he doesn't get it in pre in against with this hand. But it'd be interested to see what line Jagger takes. And he's just wow. Passed. Wow. Legendary fall yeah. from Jagger. He knows his customers. And this is yeah. what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. When you watch these things, you just think, oh, he's folded Jacks. He's up against Kings. But he doesn't know that. It's great instinct in knowing your players and knowing, following the pattern of the game and knowing that Joe's been playing snug. He's winning. We're coming down to the last hour. Is he one going to start four and five betting with hands that Jacks are in good shape against? So that's brilliant play from Jagger. That it's, is. it's not just that. You know when you're losing as well, it can force you to try... Force it. Force a yeah. winning or try to get out of the hole. So when, when you've been sort of card dead like Jagger or running bad, and you look down at Jacks, one of the first real oh, hands he's had... You know, for him to not even just call and just fold. Yeah, it's you know, really, really, really discipline good as well. Yeah, it's really good stuff. Uh -huh. How, what is it? Fifty. Hundred straddle. Yeah. Okay. Come on, lad. Calls back. And Jagger's back. Took a little talk, talking to himself there. And uh, he's back in He'll the game. He'll be pleased to know he made a good fold. I couldn't tell if uh, Joe had shown him the kings there. Scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, this is scared, this is, it's called scared, scared, not against Mitch, I'm scared. <laughs> He's a terrifying man. A terrifying man. That's a very good phrase there from Scott um, Alford saying the printing is in the folding. And that's right. Sometimes it's the hands you fold that really sort of uh, make the margins of winning and losing uh, what more you, sort of noticeable. What do you think of uh, 
Ant's hand here then. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, you'll be slightly disappointed. <laughs> um, the end of that journey. But I mean, yeah. We've got AJ who could potentially uh, ruin his night. Yep, and he's definitely not going anywhere. Yeah. What's the stack just size? He's got 8k ant, so I mean I wouldn't be surprised to see him actually get it all in here with these stack sizes. Right. There's 4.5k yeah. in the pot already. He's playing 8k. He's got to call 2.5k knowing that most of the time he's going to miss the turn. So he yeah. might decide to put the pressure straight back on Ant, who's got a similar stack size to him. So it'll be interesting to see what line he takes here. Yo, that seat two's a cool. He shipped it. Yep. I thought this would possibly Instant be. call. Yep. And and uh, looking like he doesn't really turn this want to turn his cards over here. He's got a very good hand. So a backdoor flush draw working for AJ here and the open ender. Uh, I think they're going to run it once. So this is another 18k pot here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, AJ, the player requiring help. That's no help. No queen, no seven. No queen, no seven. Oh, and there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. And unfortunately for Ant, that is a devastating river for him. £18,000 going over to AJ. And he really needed that, Ant. That is... Uh, it's quite painful. I mean, to use a wadyism, by going all in on the, on, the, on the flop there, you're giving yourself two chances of winning the hand, Ant. Your opponent can either fold, and if you get called, you've always got equity, and that's what we've seen there from AJ. Deciding to sort of semi-bluff on the flop and move all in, unfortunately ran into the effective nuts and then getting there on the river in the purest fashion. Yeah, that's uh, running bad from Ant there. Well, that's a much needed boost for AJ there. And he'll be feeling good now, man, because as we come down to the final furlong, he's got some ammunition now where if he wins another part, he can go from one of the steady trotters to one of the big winners. I think he was losing just before that part. This might brought him back to even or potentially winning a, a bit, yeah. But Ant is uh, having a nightmare day today. Yep. Uh, he also has instantly reloaded and he's back in the fray and, and back on the on the on the trail is uh, AJ with another premium hand. Vinny's not here to fold. Vinny wants to win a hundred K today. It's possible. Yep. He likes his 9-7 off, doesn't he? I've never seen him play that hand. <laughs> Joe flops best, but he'll favour the pre-flop aggressor. <laughs> back door straight, back door flush draw, runner runners. So he's going to have a little stab at it, knowing that he probably is going to yep. pick up equity on some of the turns. Joe's going to call one street. I think... Uh, Safe card. If it comes safe card on the turn, AJ, pretty safe. Oop. No bet from AJ there. Oh, look at that! He's backdoored it. And this is what I said on the flop hand. Even though He's you look at back door hand on the flop and you think, oh, we've got nothing He's here. He's not going to get nothing out of it, I imagine. Yep. You've got the queen of clubs working. You've got the back doors. And there we've just seen it materialise. Yeah, he's going to be going big. I can see an instant fold coming. Yeah, he's gone 2.2, I think. Yeah. Yeah, pretty quick fold from Joe. I think AJ shows him the uh, nuts. You're not 
Yeah, here we have the profit and loss. Got, uh, yeah, AJ, AJ's winning 3.6 after that hand. So you needed that lucky double. Ant is down 18.3k. Wow. Well, this is the time now to try and boost something up and get it back. Well, it's definitely the game. You can win it back and more. Nothing worse than being in a game where you feel like you can't get it back. But this certainly isn't one of those games. Vinny's got an open ender here, the bottom end. Not wasting any time. Can't imagine he's going to get much action from anybody here. Oh, AJ's not going away. He's going for the No, he's got some, some chips to put to work. He's deciding to, uh, to put them to work. He's got the gutter. And Vinny's made a straight. Would you believe it, Ant? Oh, Vinny has turned really. a straight. This Vinny is one is of the on sessions that we dream today. of, isn't it, Ant? Yeah. Especially at these stakes. Wow. Could AJ be thinking that Vinny's betting a flush draw here? Could be, potentially. But I think having just won that pot and, and got himself out of the mire... Maybe, yeah, he's He's not going to want to sort of um, put his chips in on a sort of a, on a whim or maybe a weak, weak tell. So he's probably going to end up folding this, I think. Good read. No, he's full. <laughs> wow. Vinny... It's pretty strong, that is, isn't it? It's oh, I mean, he's made a pair as well on the turn. Okay, that changes it. I still would have folded, I think. I've, yeah, I would have folded as well. But... Oh, oh dear. dear. This is a disaster. This is a disaster for AJ. And if Vinny plays his cards right here, he could win a big pot. I think Vinny might go big. How much is he? Oh, he's playing 16k. You can't go that big. I think he might go 6 or 7k, basically bet pot. He can't really pay any more than that. I think Vinny's going to go big here, mate. Come on, what's your guess? I think he's going to bet 6k, and it's still a pretty sizable bet, that is. Bet, bet, and... He's gone all in! He's gone, all he's in? gone for all of it, and... Oh, my God. And AJ's got 16,000 behind. This wow. is a nightmare. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness me, and against Vinny, what I do told you do you, here? You, when you're playing against the likes of Vinny... Oh, he's oh, called! He's called! Oh, my God, we've got a new high pot. Oh, no, it isn't. Wait, what is it? 39 now. I thought it said 51k there for a second. Oh, dear. AJ's seen the bad news and has been felted. Oh, oh he's splashing the pot. Wow. 40,000 pound pot. 39,000. Vinny, personally responsible wow. today for a 45,000 pound pot and a 39,000 pound pot. And ladies and gentlemen, we did say that this was on the card and look at Vinny's stat wow, now. Wow, Please remember, wow. ladies and gentlemen, Vinny is in for 5K and he has 67,000 in front of him at the moment. Wow. Wow.
Vinny has smashed the table. There's no other way of putting yeah. it. He has smashed. But the look that he's had for AJ to river a seven, to give him trips. And, wow, look at that stat. Incredible. It's encroaching on the other playing spot now. And also, man, it's obviously very, very, very unlucky for AJ that it came 7-7. Seven, seven. But sometimes you can sort of compound your own misery because I think we both agreed on the turn that that was a fold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he's continued in the hand and the deck's punished him. It's come yeah. literally the only card that he goes broke on, a seven. Well, I mean, yeah, the only one he goes broke on, the other being a chop. But that's... Yeah, Vinny turned over the bad news and... Uh, AJ did not like it. Just to confirm, that pot was under 40,000. Yeah, it came up the with graphics the graphics. came up yeah. because uh, that Vinny... Vinny Stack, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. I mean, you know it's going to be a good night for you, Ant, when the same player is responsible for the two biggest pots yeah. of the night and wins both pots. AJ has been felted. By so the hands lose, of Vinny. Yeah, we lose our first player of the night. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't really go well. And it's really crazy, isn't it? And because literally moments before that, AJ had managed to get himself back in the game and win a big pot. And literally two or three minutes later, he's now been faltered. Yeah. Like we said, anything can happen. This is the type of game you're playing. It's not like... A player who locks up when they're winning and things like that. Vinny doesn't stop. If he could, if he can carry on trying to take the table, he will do it. Ladies so, and gentlemen, do not make the mistake of leaving as there is half an hour to go. There is so much money on the table. People are stuck. People are chasing. People are tilted. We've got the tilt bell out. Ali Ayub's here. Antonio Samuel is here. It's Friday night. Let's go. Something big's going to happen. I can feel it in my waters. And yeah. Who's going to get the lot? What, what, what can be better? You're listening to me and Ali, and you're watching someone hoover up the table. Unbelievable. There's an absolute fortune on the table. I've got to tell you, man, and I'm and not being the, biased. The action's still going. Yeah, I'm not being biased. This is one of the best stream games I've ever seen. It's been an absolute privilege to be here. Yeah. Like I said, very quickly, I want to thank Just Till Dawn. I want to thank Rachel and Glenn. Uh, and Definitely. everybody that puts this together, all this staff. I want to thank Derek. Uh, and I want to thank you guys for being with us. I will say, just one last time, please get yourself down to Dust Till Dawn. There's so much happening here. I'm here, for heaven's like, sake. Like and subscribe the channel, people. There's so much coming this year at Dust Till Dawn. Yeah, DTV Believe player. me when I tell you, you're going to witness on stream people winning potentially hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Get onto DTV Player. Don't miss a thing. We're going to be here. Myself and Antonius will be commentating on the cash games, on the tournaments, on the final tables. There's loads of good stuff happening, and we want you to be a part of it. That's the whole point. And again, thank you to everybody who's been engaging with us on the chat. There's still half an hour to go, and the chips are flying, Antonius. Yeah, it's not slowing down. It started off with a bang. I bet it will finish with a bang. Trust me. Vinny is literally, he's brought his Henry the Hoover with him today. <laughs> That's what he's done. Vinny the Eviscerator, we're going to have to start calling him now. And Carl Ant, while we've been losing our minds, has managed to flop three threes here. Ooh, and unfortunately for Ant, Ant he's got 1.9k left and he's got an ace. <laughs> and he's basically set him in. He can't fold this Ant. Paul can have any manner of hands here. He can have a draw, he can have draw five. I mean, even if Paul has got an ace, like an ace six or an ace seven, there is the possibility of a chop as well. So, I think it says Ant's got 1.9k here, up, but I can see from his stack that he's got more than yeah, that. So, that graphic isn't correct. Incorrect. Yeah, That's probably why he's taking so long to make his decision here. This is two players who were stuck in the game. Ah, he's made a good fold. He's made a good fold. Yeah, I knew, uh, <laughs> Carl being the gentleman. Chosen. That's how bad I 
I've been running all night. I just knew you would have had a free underneath it. It's actually a good I folder. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's that, it's Look at this, Sam. Yeah, Look at this. Vinny is flat, winning sixty-two thousand pounds in this game. Incredible. It's uh, pretty spectacular. You know what he's doing right now. In for five k, and he's got over sixty grand in front of him. We've lost one player tonight, people, at the hands of Vinny. Who's felted AJ on more than one occasion. The last one being a 40k pot. Vinny must be enjoying his dinner right now. Yep. The, ch the, the, the salads and whatever you're eating just tastes a lot sweeter, doesn't oh, it? Oh, certainly. It's like certainly. when somebody buys you a drink, it never uh, tastes oh, better than one you paid for. Thank you so much, Raj, for the lovely comment for me and Ali. We really do appreciate it. We hope we have... Uh, been doing a good job for you all tonight. Yep, that sounds about right, Robert. Vinny puts you in the binny. Excellent. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God, Ant, look at this. Oh, unfortunately, it's just been folded. I was going to say, if it came a seven on the turn, that could have been a huge pot. Oh, yeah. Oh, folded. no, it's still going on, Ant. Oh, yeah. Really, I thought really. he'd folded the call, but he was actually flicking a plaque in. So we do have the potential here, on for it to come a seven yeah, to see some more sickness. But knowing uh, Vinny's look, I would not put it past him here. So now it's been checked and uh, calls bet 3K. Vinny going back to his dinner. Yeah, have a bite. Think about it. Drill it. This is the thing about Vinny, and he just he just doesn't you care. You never know where you are in the hand with yeah. this guy. Oh, he's folded. So we're not going to get a chance to see that carnage. And Carl doesn't realise how lucky he was there uh, because think, if that peeled off a seven, I think he just seen when he uh, seen Vinny's hand. Yeah, he would have been in so much trouble there. Oh my God! The potential for a 114k pot between <laughs> Carl and wow. Vinny. Wow! Wow! Ant is down just under 20k in this game. He has ran pretty bad. Yep. Warbs has uh, ran pretty bad as well. But managed Who's to... that guy, Ant, with the black t-shirt? Seat one? Yeah. I don't know, you know. We, we need a... When the camera angle gets... Uh, I thought low. it was a, a poltergeist or something. Like, like a, I, you know, like a phantasm or something. I, who is it? Is, is it? Ooh, Jagger with the ace, queen of hearts. What a beautiful hand. It's the hand that Doyle Brunson, God rest him, said he hated the most. Ace, queen. It does, yeah, but you know when it's... Oh, Vinny's got jacks. Oh, wow. Tens for oh, Ant. wow, ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in. Just for the record, people, Ant does have more than 1.8k in front of him. Yep, it's he's slightly He's got over wrong. 3k. No, I think he's got close to 5, Ant, I think. Um, the, the graphics are... Slightly delayed. And he's all in. Just, what are we calling it? Just under 5k? Yeah, so once again, ladies and gentlemen, we will reiterate, Ant has moved all in. It says on your graphics it's 1.8k, but it's probably closer to 4 or 5. So now the decision is on uh, Jagger, who flats. As you can see, the amount of chips that Jagger's putting in. Looks about 4k. Yeah, 4. Right, okay. So now we've got an all-in of four, about 4k from Ant. And Jagger smooth forward with the ace queen suited. And, Vin and Vinny's moved all in. What? Oh my god. Wow. And what did Jagger do? And did he flat call this to try and induce this? Oh, wow. <laughs> and Vinny taking a sip here, realizing he's just put just a, a lot casual sip. And the other players are standing uh, up. Even if you need to know what's happening with Jagger here. Dead. 
Like the way he oh runs my. tonight. I mean, sorry, we've sorry, seen sorry, Jagger sorry, make man. the Jacks fold, but that was to Joe. And How and can you fold it to huge. Vinny? Because you've got to be thinking now, would Vinny just move all in with aces or kings? The only hand that Jagger's worried about here is ace-king. But I actually think that Jagger is putting Vinny on exactly the kind of hand he's got. And I think he's going to call. Wow. I think we're going to see it here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I mean, we've seen him make the fold to a three bet, but that was obviously from Joe. Yeah. Who's, you know, playing quite so. This is Vinny. If you break down this hand, Dan, everything's telling me that Jagger's going to work this out and put Vinny on almost exactly the hand he's got I'm going to call. Oh, wow. Well. This could be an Hang on, let's work spot. it out. Let's work it out. So Ant's got around 4K. Yeah. Jagger was saying 35. And Vinny double that. This... Oh my word! This could be the biggest pot of the night. If this could Jagger... be the biggest pot ever, and at just till dawn. If Jagger makes this call, wow, ladies and gentlemen, what drama here at just till dawn? Friday night poker, joined by Ali Ayub and Antonio Samuel. We have seen a crazy game here tonight, what and a... it's about to get crazier. What a honest Ant right now feels lost. Yeah, he knows he's dead when he sees the action. You think I can't win? Stephen, there, one of our experienced dealers, just staying calm. Wow. Jagger absolutely tormented, and I think Jagger's going to work this out. He's such a top player. I think he's going to work this out. Oh, this is a yeah, but even even so, working it out to take on that flip. Yeah. And, and what do you think, Ann? A pot of this magnitude, if he does call, do you think he'll oh, wow. it twice? He looked like he was just going to slide this uh, oh, plaque there. Those are 5k plaques. Can he find it within his soul, within his being? Oh, he's, he's called, called it! Oh, my he's God! And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wow! Look at the screen. This is a £76,000 wow. pot. Friday night poker at dusk till dawn. Wow! Look at this, ladies is, and gentlemen. Is, is the night going to be concluding the way it started for Vinny? Yep. Or is Jagger going to get some redemption all or is and gonna find some wrong good Diamond. oh my Anyone god complete diamond, break and actually diamond, the tens have got a chance of wow. winning the side pot diamond. here and yes and Fucking jagger well not liking diamond. that another tens. diamond the tens has tripled and here we go oh, oh my wow. goodness wow jagger spikes an ace on the river the redemption from the top of mount olympus the ace comes down like lightning wow and just like that and for almost 99 percent of this game jagger has been in the hole but look at that board now amazing wow. for jagger Seventy thousand pound ladies and gentlemen and the size of that pot has now eclipsed the forty-five thousand that was previously the biggest part. What a game. Wow. What a game from start to... Wow. What a privilege this has been. And ladies and gentlemen, it's going to take our dealer, Stephen, a, a chance to work this out. But Antonius, let's just rewind this now. Vinny, absolutely running over the table. Jagger not being able to get involved. The two biggest pots of the game, Vinny won with ease. Then we get to 20 to 12 at night. And Vinny is involved in a 70k plus pot. And like I said, from Mount Olympus, Thor's hammer comes down with the ace. That ace just absolutely shattered the table. Wow. What an incredible pot. And I am absolutely buzzing here. And it's unfortunate for Vinny, but Jagger, he bided his time. And what a result that was. And wow. Incredible. That let's put this into a different perspective. If Vinny had won that part, Vinny would have been winning over a hundred thousand. Wow, from a 5k the game. investment. Wow, ladies that and gentlemen, that ace on the river, yeah, just must have come, like you said, like a hammer. That is Thor's hammer on Vinny. Incredible. I mean, Vinny is crestfallen. He's still winning chunks, but and that would have, like you rightly said, represented an over a hundred thousand pound profit for Vinny had he have held there. And uh, Vinny actually came last in that hand. Yeah. A Barry on the river. 
Wow, 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 wow. What an incredible wow. This is one Zabina. of those moments where you want a camera on each opponent Absolutely. as the cards are coming down. You want to see the reaction of each player. That was so crazy. Look at Jagger, still calm and composed. Wow. Incredible stuff. On You've just witnessed the biggest part of the night. Yeah, I want to say what have we been saying it all night and that something big was going to happen. Yeah. And boy, were we right. You're here joined by Ali Ayub and Antonio Samuel, Friday Night Poker at dusk. It's never been better. Like I said, we've got the best lineup, the best commentators, the best players and the best setup. And that pot, I'm was buzzing insane. at. That was insane. That was insane. Wow, Vinny was absolutely hoovering the table and in one hand smashed. He wasn't asked about my hand, he told me about five times. I don't fucking care about you. I don't like you. There's a 60k pot. <laughs> I really wasn't that bothered about your diamond either. No, 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 no. None of them were. When I came, I was like, yeah, sound. Yeah, no one was asked. Like, like, no one cared. Not, not that I haven't lost 21 grand anyway myself, lads. You know what I mean? But no, no one gives a shit, did they? You know what I mean? Fucking hell. Good job, I didn't have more. How does someone feel there when they're about to scoop a pot of that size and a barry lands on the river like that? Not the flop, not the turn. Bang on the river. Wow. Yeah, it's like poetry in motion and it's like my my idol, Tony G used to say, the ace from space. And that ace came from somewhere there for Jagger. He's been quiet all yeah. night, couldn't get anything going. Yeah. And then boom, one of the biggest pots uh, uh, that we've He's ever had. He's got over £60,000 sat in front of him. Incredible. And you know what? Even after that pot, Vinny's still winning chunks. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God, Vinny would have had over a hundred k in front of him, and he started with five. That is what a game! What a game! And now we're back to the action, and uh, we're back to this pot here. Carl hasn't really got much here. He's got a good shot, and they just takes it down. This game started off with such a bang, and it's not disappointed. Wow. Colin, thank you very much for your support and your kind words, mate. It's been incredible. And like I said, I don't want to keep reiterating the same thing, but it's been a privilege for me and Antonius to commentate on this game. It's had a bit of everything. And um, it still isn't over. There's still an eternity of hands to be dealt. There's still we've got 20, 25 minutes. Just about 20 minutes. I don't think my heart could take another pot like that. We know Carl will be trying to get into a big pot. But <laughs> and got the full uh, triple up, yeah, quietly, much needed. And just to go back to the comments that Matthew Hill is asking us, did everybody start with 5k? No, some people started with 5k, some people started with 10. I think there was two or three players, including Carl, that sat down with 10k. But yeah, um, Vinny was in for five, and he was one card away from having a hundred thousand pound in front of him and that's how brutal this game can be jagger has found his mojo yep. he's three bet the seven deuce off yeah against joe and they're not playing the seven deuce game but joe not going anywhere here around with the ace deuce off yeah i mean i do like jagger jagger's making, found his mojo yeah, again. i like him making that play against joe though the way he's played yeah uh and now because they've both qualified I think um, I don't think Joe's going to relinquish this very easily. For the people watching, seeing people wake up with jacks, tens, and eights. He's bet two k. We got to hand it to Joe, man. His spidey senses have been on point today. He's made the call, but I think he might stick around just for the one street. Maybe not. There's Anna there, the lovely Anna. 
all the staff at Dust Till Dawn doing their bit. That's why it's the best place to play, mate. That's it's right. It's the most friendliest atmosphere in the UK. Well, any card room that I know of. Okay, so this makes it slightly tricky now because the front door, straight doors complete, some of them. Back and they also back door for still, but Joe has the nut blocker. So he might elect to turn his hand into a bluff here and on the river. Um, obviously, with the paired board, it makes it slightly more difficult. Oh, depending on the sizing here. Jagger's going for over Jagger's 5K. Jagger's gone big. Here. Yeah. 5.5. And look at Joanne. He, he, he's not relinquishing that. He hasn't made any bad decisions. Is he going to... Yeah, I mean... I mean, what do you think here, and Do you think he's thinking about hero calling or do you think he's thinking about making a play here and possibly raising? I think heroing, to be honest. I mean, I would We've not really to... seen him make a play. Will he really do make a play at this the end late of the, in night? the day? Yeah. I think it's just whether to hero off or... I mean, it'll be a pretty sick hero call, to be honest. He's really thinking about it, and, and, and this is impressive in itself to me, uh, because obviously before Jagger won that hand, he wasn't really getting out of line. So for him to sort of, oh, he's picked the chips up again, and he's really Ooh. tortured here. I'm telling you, his spidey senses are on point, but he looks like he is discretion going to be the better part of valor here, and for Joe. He's done oh, it, and what a great call. Wow, bravo, wow, bravo, wow, 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 wow. Ladies and gentlemen. I, I, you got to hand it to this is, Yeah, that is the look yeah, right take there. Take your licks, Jagger. Take yeah. your licks, because that was class. Well played, that Joe. That is a four. Oh, love, that is a... Very well played. I mean, it's very easy for us to say and see from at home or yeah. here watching, but the guy has put £5,500 on that river. You've got a deuce. There's like so many things that are beating you. To make that call is incredible. No, it's 200 this hand, surely. It's 225 next hand. But yeah, it's 200 this hand. So it's not, not in this stand. Not next hand. Yeah, I'll let you do that. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do that. What we should do, right? We should all just keep. Basically, these two are going heads up, definitely, this hand. We should all keep raising massive, right? Are we going to have any more carnage? Just when you think it's about to slow or be over, just mad things happen. That's cool. We can all keep raising money. The, the donation. I got a back raising me, you know. Vinny went from a 60 plus K stack to 28.5. He tried to breach the six figures, and a barry on the river ended it. However, with these lot, anything can happen at any moment. Ah, come on, let's go. Action. Good luck, Carl. Good luck. Empty. Carl's got a lovely suit of Jack mate. 10 good here. Luck, hey, good luck, mate. <laughs> not them two, not them two. One of the most painful things in poker is when you don't flop well with hands like that. Just exactly like that. Vinny with bottom pair. Backdoor flush draw, Jagger with top pair, Warbs with top pair. In a bit of trouble here. Vinny in more trouble if he gets involved, if we see a three on the turn or something. But Carl's just not had no connections whatsoever. He's played the second biggest part of the night going for an absolute heroic complete bluff against Vinny only to be snapped off that pot was 45,800 pounds Jagger still with the best of it here and no help for Warbs or Vinny here See Jagger betting. Yep. Gone about quarter pot. 
Yep, ladies and gentlemen, we are just ratifying um, the guesses in the chat and we will be announcing uh, within the next five minutes who's won the £230 ticket. It looked like the 45.8k um, pot was going to be the biggest one, but we can confirm that it's uh, closer to 78,000, the biggest pot. So we're just having a look through now to see who's got closest to that. And within the next five minutes, we're going to be announcing the winner. you've been running just to see something happen to you like that all night is just a little bit of a nice feeling isn't it to be fair it was sick though i didn't think i was winning anything out of Jagger there, yeah, bit of uh, making that seven deuce money back. What yep. you spunked off, yeah, but you sh should he get the 200? Surely you should, right? Uh, yeah, you should get the 200 as well. Yeah, no, he should get the 200. To be fair, that should come to me because I stacked it. <laughs> <laughs> Has he gone? He didn't have a button when he left, did he? So, yep, the players will still be hoping, and the ones that are stuck, people like Carl. Um, and people like Ant, they'll still be hoping that there's still time for some hands to collide. And let's not forget, like you, you rightly said, Ant, even though Vinny was the recipient of a really bad river there, he's still winning for the session. I'm sure he's enjoyed himself like we have. Oh, definitely. I mean, he's stacked the most people, like, belted them. He's definitely been enjoying himself. Yeah, that works, I guess. It's slightly easier. If people are happy with that. I don't know what's going on, what's going on. Wolves with the uh, ace jack off. Might get some action from Joe here. Biddy, I'm sure, will be along for the ride. Oh. Got a three bet from Joe. King five of spades. What a game it's been today. Unreal action. Oh, Warbs flops best. Remains in front with his ace jack off. What does Joe do here being the three bet pre-flop? I mean, Warbs has sort of got to be on his guard here. He's not really seen Joe get out of line. Absolutely. And so when he's seen him three bet and pre and... But Wolves is just going to make the call. Oh, oh dear me. Wolves' night continues. That's a great feeling though, isn't it? And when you're playing poker, when you turn something huge like that. Yeah. Um, check. Sneaky check from Joe. Orbs knows the game too well. That does complete a backdoor flush. Um, no, it doesn't. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Completes a complete, yeah, it does actually backdoor yeah, flush. Backdoor. Um, but I don't think they'll be too bothered about that. But I think Joe maybe decided for a bit of pot control on that turn mm. uh, and maybe try to sneaky check. Very sneaky check. But it might get him paid. Him. Yeah. I think he'd be more likely to get paid if the diamond draw didn't complete. Um, I think Warbs maybe would have made a crying call with the Jack there, but now I think 
with a whole host of new hands that are now beating him. I think he might decide to fold here. It's been a rough night for Warbs as yeah, well. Yeah, very rough. As you can see by his expression. Ah, oh, he's paid him. He's paid him? He's paid him. Wow. Joe playing that hand very well again. And I like Warbs the way he played the turn. And, and has been running bad today. Not his night. That's a very good point, uh, Eddie. You know, Vinny folded King Seven there. Oh, did he? Oh, wow. Otherwise, I'd have been fucking taking that. Wow. That would have been a fun pot. If everyone got to see the turn if Vinny was involved there. Yeah, rough night for Warbs. Is seat one still with us? Yeah, I mean, it's not been his greatest hour, has it? I mean, we've certainly seen how he's managed to do so well at the game. He doesn't do much, but he runs pretty good when he gets his money in. Mm. I might get that put on a T-shirt. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those nights. I know we're sort of taking the mickey out of him because he's a very good friend of ours. But, he, you know, it's just sometimes, just like with Jagger, you've seen, you can just be almost dormant and stagnant for a while, but it only takes one hand. Yep. <laughs> Vinny, Vinny's had some good on it. I just like, I'm trying, I was trying to go for 100 guns. I was like, I know, I know. Very close. Down to a rope. I was going to say, Joe has been steady and played well, in my opinion. He's uh, definitely he's made the right fold, made the right bets. I like it. I mean, a little bit more than I'm trying to fucking get a lot. I'm not, I'm not here to fucking try and like, you know, I want, want the lot. Take the old table. I tried, didn't I? I'm not being funny. I love that shot, you know, man. There's something about that shot. It's so clean. You can see all the players. You can see all the chips. Yeah. The table you might have noticed as well, ladies and gentlemen, is a custom-built table. It's not normal. It's actually a lot bigger than the than the normal tables that you play on. It honestly feels like a snooker table when you're there. It's that big. Oh, we've got Vinny and Carl here. Can we see any... Uh... Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and true to form. Um, you can't keep a good man like Vinny down, can you? Yeah, just to boat him up just for good measure. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you go on, Ali... We've had a bet from Vinny and a raise from Carl. Wow. To 4K. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. This pot went from, relative to the game, small, to now just under 10K. What does Carl do here? He's gave up. Wow. And Carl sort of trying to force it here and towards well, the end of the I day. I mean, let's face it, if Vinny doesn't have a 7 on a, or an 8 on that turn, that 4k bet of Carl gets through. He knows. I don't like this lead ant from, from Vinny here. Because no, remember, Carl's he, checked. Oh, Carl checked, I beg your pardon. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Yeah, then that's completely different. I mean, as it stands, Vinny's still winning over 25k. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come where we can announce the winner of our competition. And it was Luz the Moosh, um, who gets 75k. And I think it's Lewis Ralph. So we will be contacting you, uh, Lewis. Congratulations. Your guess was 75k, um, and it was uh, extremely close to the winning amount. So that £230 ticket for the WSOP circuit event here at Dust Till Dawn will be making its way to you, and we will be in touch. So congratulations. And I'd also like to thank everybody for participating in that competition. There were some guesses, a lot around the 45k mark. We had some 60. Uh, we had some 70, but it was Lewis who was um, 
closest with 75k and um you also need to follow us on dtd player and on twitter so we can contact you so if you're out there um lewis ralph 88 then please follow us on uh, dtd player and on twitter and we will get in contact with you about this seat so congratulations well done great guess congratulations lewis nice one amazing guess mate and uh we're surely <laughs> most definitely going to be rooting for you to uh, turn that ticket into a win, mate. Yep, into gold. Yep. We've seen it a few times. So-and-so won a ticket from a competition and went on to win the tournament. So we're going to be rooting for you there, mate. Yep. All the best and congratulations on winning the ticket. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, and we're hoping that he can, uh, yeah, even yeah, even yeah. if he gets a min Can't cash, it'll be cheap. fantastic, isn't it? It's always good it's to free roll. It's free money. It's always good to free roll. It's free money. Congratulations. Thank you. And what a hand that was. Yep. For that part. Incredible. So privileged. Until what until a here. game. I'd just like to say I feel very, very privileged and lucky to have been... Uh, commentating on this game what a game it's been i know you've all must have been ent entertained by the action start to finish on this game if you go back to the very beginning you'll see carnage one outers all the way through as we're closing in on the end what a game thank you everyone who's been following make sure you're following uh, dtd player on YouTube, follow, give us a like. We hope we've uh, entertained you tonight. It's been an absolutely incredible night. So yeah. thank you for all your kind comments. You've been an absolute pleasure to commentate for. You've put in amazing questions, messages. We really do appreciate it. So uh, yeah, congratulations to Lewis the Moose. Lewis 88 which is Lewis88. Make sure you follow DTD Player on Twitter and on YouTube. You'll be getting contacted about your ticket. Turn it into a win for us, mate. Uh, yes, Ben Shannon saying, was Mitch playing? Uh, very astute. Rumour has it that he was. Yeah, I mean, we were yet to see him, but we have heard he was in the building. Um, the only thing I can remember was he was stood for a very long time on the stand-up game at the beginning. That was Absolutely. about it. Absolutely. And yeah, like we said, um, we're just winding down now. There is still some potential for some monster hands to happen. All of the players are present apart from a uh, AJ, who was unfortunately stacked. Um, but as we Several speak, times. Um, Carl is here in now with the ace queen. And let's see if he finds... I don't think Vinny's going to be folding the forward who's suited, that's for sure. That's like the nuts for Vinny. And when you, ladies and gentlemen, when you're clicking on the DTD player to follow, make sure that you follow myself and Antonius as well. You can follow Antonius on Instagram at AntSamuel1. You can follow myself at MozartLibs on Instagram. So we'd love to have you guys along and um, keep watching because there's some really, really big things happening at Dust Till Dawn. And we'd love for you guys to be on the journey with us. Yeah. Make sure you follow people. I always tend to every now and then post some daft videos of myself, Ali, or the legendary Wadey, or Sorry. anyone I'm around, there. really. Yeah, That's right. We're all here for the fun. And Vinny's qualified like once again. Man, he's made a pair. Absolutely <laughs> nothing for Carl. Carl has had an absolute <laughs> nightmare of a day. Yeah. He's even been outdrawn by the Queen 5 off. Oh, he cannot connect with that. any board. What a nightmare. He's forcing, but is and has he made the call? I think so. Yep, we're going, going to go to a turn, and a queen would be an absolute disaster for Carl here. That's probably going to call save Carl some money because Ant's improved to a queen eye flush draw uh, as well now. And uh, you know they say, don't they? Ant, sometimes a windshield, sometimes a bug, and we've seen that with Carl today. He just crushes everywhere he goes. But today's just not been his day at all, has it? 
And it's against you, it's against you. I think um, I just want to give a mention to Joanne because, like I said, yeah. when I came here, I'd played with almost every player on the table. Um, and I didn't know a lot about Joe, but I've actually been really impressed with the way that he's played and he's conducted himself. So Definitely. I just want to give him a shout out. He's Definitely. played really well. He's played very well. Paul's a bet again here, Ant. and um, This is Carl Shaw for you, ladies and gentlemen. He will put you to the test. Yep. And it's a difficult spot here as well, stack size wise, now for Ant, because Carl's bet 3.5k. And Ant's only playing 11k. So if he does call this and, and uh, doesn't improve on the river, he's going to be in a really sticky Dude, spot. Carl will blast again. Yeah, I think he knows that. So well, he's chosen. And this is the Carl Shaw that's we right, know. That's the Carl Shaw effect. Just pure aggression there, taking that down. When when actually Ant, this is when he doesn't even need to connect. Yeah, that, what we were saying when actually Ant's hand improved as well on that yeah. turn to to a flush yeah, draw yeah, as well. Hearts, Maybe he expected uh, Carl to check. <laughs> <laughs> Did he ring the bell? No, he didn't ring the bell. I think that, that time's passed now. Yeah. This is second to last time, yeah. It's been brilliant, though, and it's been really good to watch um, these guys play. Yeah. I think during the chaos, there's been moments of real brilliance from the players. They've shown oh, yeah, real certainly. composure. There's been some great calls. You can see they've figured out the situation. There's been high-level stuff going on. You yeah. Know? There's been great folds, great calls. Amazing, amazing stuff witnessed tonight. I mean, I do feel bad for the players who have like, ran bad mm. and like never really got going. People like Steve Warburton, even Carl, you know. We give him a lot of stick as well, but Mitch really hasn't had many hands to get involved yeah. in as well. And sort of, you can almost become a passenger in the game and when all the action's yeah. happening in front of you. It, it is hard. Like Obviously, we've been nobbling Mitch the, throughout the stream, but it is hard when there's action going on all around you. What are you supposed to do with what Absolutely. you dealt? You can't really yeah. just hammer it in, things like that. So he has had really poor distribution. And sometimes that's where people get unstuck as well, when they try and force these yeah, things, when, yeah. when, when they're not getting the distribution spots. I mean, uh, Vinny's just flopped amazing. Smashed another flop again, Vinny has. He's most likely either going to get there or bet Mitch out of it. Yeah, and this is indicative of Mitch's session, to be fair. He's not really got a lot going for him at all. It kills your confidence Absolutely, when that happens yeah. in the game. Especially if you're a guy against a guy who's running well, you don't really want. You're always going to think he's got your B or he's going to get there. And it went check check here as well, unsurprisingly. Um, Vinny decided to check back, and now he's bricks. I think we might get to showdown here, and Mitch might win the pot with a side. Yeah, yep. Vinny didn't show any. Uh, uh, unlike Vinny. Yeah, he didn't show any motivation there to win that yeah. pot. Um, Vinny still, and look at the graphic, he's, he's still winning 25,000 pounds, which is, you know, it's a great showing. I deserve to lose that answer. What? Well, you're just piping up now. No, that is what we said, that is what we said, yeah. Who said that? Rather than doing 25 every hand, we said we'd do 100 and all of it. It's technically less than first. Rachel said, maybe introduce man of the match. I'm going Every for Mitch for invisibility. Like, yeah, I mean, we didn't know that Mitch was part of the X-Men and that he had invisible yeah. powers. He certainly proved that to us today. Yeah. Yep. Thank you very much for um, sticking with us, Rachel. We appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. It's been crazy. And I tell you what, it's going to take a lot to top this one. Oh, yeah. The size of the parts, the action, the carnage, the emotions. It's been absolute... <laughs> AJ's back. AJ's back. He's done the Dunnit walk and he's come yeah, back to observe. AJ is back. When you, Just when you think things couldn't get any stranger in this game, yeah, I don't think AJ he's makes play. a return. But I don't think he's going to play him. He he's just might be too late for the stream. Yeah. But it starts next hand. Because he just won. So that's what you said last time. So when the point gets back to you. Some decent hands clashing oh, here, and yeah, I can imagine all three of yeah, these players might be seeing yeah. a flop here, so unless yeah. Carl decides to play the king's queen really aggressively. 
um, which in the state of mind that he's in at the moment, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. So Jaggers uh, has been the open for 400. Jaggers made the four. And... Three oh, no, wow. Jaggers three bet the king six and calls They're going four. to the flop. Here we go. As predicted, three to a flop. Oh, dear. Jagger flops for best. Jagger. Fantastic flop for Jagger. Nothing else for anybody else here, so... Richard has said extra time, please. <laughs> yeah. We wish. I'm not we surprised. We really but... do wish. Thank you, Richard. Thanks for joining us, bud. We appreciate you. Paul deciding to lead here, Rant, with fresh air, and Jagger set the trap by checking. I think. Oh, do you think we're going to see a check raise here, Rant, or is he thinking he's on appeal? Let's see what Vinny does first. Very good point. We don't know what Vinny might do. Probably the biggest part of the night. Yeah, Vinny gets out of the way and now one we're going to yeah. see is there going to be a check raise or is there going to be a flat ball versus tens. These, these two had about 33k each give or take the jacks versus Ace they're just Queen updating AJ on uh, oh, yeah, the that biggest part of the night flush, but that was the side part sides to call the set the trap for the main, for like the, well, I, mean, I mean, guess it was I love the Jagger and I love Carl, but I'm sort of hoping it doesn't come off a club here because Carl's had a bad yeah, night yeah, already. Yeah. And now improving to appear improving. as well. So now Carl, Carl can't even win with the king hand now. Yeah. Quick check, check Bad here. night for Carl. Nothing. No connections with no boards. Just nothing on his way. And uh, Jagger's going to win this pot, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this is Carl Shaw we're talking about. Is Carl going to leave 16k in the middle? King high can't be good. But he's checked it behind. He's going to be sick when he sees the hand. Yeah, look at that. Pure professionalism and class from Carl there. Yeah. Got heavily outdrawn. Guy turns a six on him. Doesn't even blink. Class act. If only I could master that. You've got no chance of showing class at the table. No, you're a very much loved figure on the table, Ali. I'm sure people get excited just to be on your table. As they should. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is coming to an end. And I really, really want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for joining us. Please come to Dust Till Dawn. It's a great place. We've got a great setup here. Myself, Ali Ayub. Uh, all of the staff at Dust Till Dawn, everybody in charge of the stream, the players, you know, Vinny, what a superstar, Jagger, Carl Shaw, amazing. And it's been a privilege uh, to commentate on this game. And I want to give you the last word, Antonius. Yeah, I mean, watch the stream for yourselves. If you haven't from the beginning, it was incredible. Honestly, total carnage action from the get go. You've seen so many things happen. I mean, it's one of the best streams I've seen Absolutely. by far. It's been and a privilege. So thank, thank you, you so much for everyone who watched. You've been an absolute pleasure. Everyone in the comments, congratulations on the competition uh, for the seat winner. Hopefully, we're all rooting for you to win it. And you've been a pleasure, everyone. Thank you so much. And, and that is uh, me and the infamous Ali Ayub out. Yeah, we'll see you when we see you.